Hello, happy Friday, time appropriate greetings to wherever you are. And speaking of time, my God, it feels weird streaming this time of day. What the hell? Two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm streaming? Sign of the apocalypse. Um, so yes, I'm streaming much earlier than I normally am, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, hey Ems, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. And Digital Partisan, enjoy that lurk. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yes, more Fallout 4 today. Welcome everybody. Uh, I normally don't stream on Fridays for like another four hours from now, so think of this as a time warp. Um, I'm off from work today and wanted to stream a bit earlier than normal, so here we are. Um, hope everybody's having a good week. Week is over. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue with our Fallout 4 playthrough, our railroad adventures. Actually going to jump into the game here. I really have nothing to banter about. And to Kathri, that four month resub. Thank you very much. Four months. Appreciate that. How you doing? Great to see ya. Uh, so yeah, I am. Um, I'm not working today. Just tired from work today. Em says, yeah, I was actually. Uh, I only worked three days this week, and I paid for it. I was um, pretty exhausted. Every night this week, especially last night, I was uh, actually planning on streaming Fallout Three last night, but I just, I just had a really. Uh, it was a long day. And I decided I was going to do some other things and fall asleep on the couch very early. So, yeah, no stream happened last night. So here we are instead. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into the game here. Uh, this magic button here. Yes, it's the magic button. We have, yep, there we go. We got game sign. So we are continuing our playthrough with Railroad Agent Alexis. Former caravan guard and sharpshooter. And um, we're here in the uh, Outcast hideout, where we left off last time. A little bit of inventory maintenance, a couple things to go over. We are roughly 198 hours into the playthrough. Yes. Um, uh, Partisan uh, says, uh, enough of DaVinci's Resolve tutorial that I could cut my mod videos now. Oh, you're doing the, um, the training, the, the video thing? Oh, yes. I can only do so much of that. I don't do so much of that. M says, I work 8.30 to 5 days a week and just constantly tired. I wish I could drop a day or so. I hear ya. Um, I had some vacation time. I had uh, some holiday time. I had to use up by the end of the year. So today and I got one another couple of weeks coming up. So yeah. Yeah. Seems like every time I take a day off, um, I pay for it with, with more work that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Hey, Daniel. How you doing? Uh, so yeah, I... Wanted to stream earlier today, so here we are. Back, back at home. Uh, let's see. So, yep, continuing the railroad playthrough. This is a no settlements, no legendaries run, meaning we're mostly ignoring the entire settlement system, as I normally do anyway. And, um, but we're even ignoring it more than I, than usual this time. Like, we have literally no settlements, um, other than what the game has forced upon me. Um, no legendaries means I cannot pick up random legendary drops. We're not picking up random legendary drops. Named uniques that are placed in the world or given as quest rewards are okay. But the whole random legendary thing, we're just ignoring that stuff. They don't exist. Um, hey, Dominic, how you doing? Uh, yep, this is uh, this is Agent Alexis. Uh, she is a former caravan guard who was the victim of a attack on her caravan en route to Boston. Woke up at Bunker Hill. Uh, some scars on her face. Her eyesight was... Uh, a little damaged, a little impaired, so she's not quite the sharpshooter she used to be. And that's kind of a lame excuse for the um, my aim's kind of shit in this game, so... Or any game for that matter. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, let's see. We are currently at... Where are we here? Come on, game. Level 54! Level 54. Very close to level 55. Uh, let's see. We'll probably get that before too long. Uh, special skills are pretty much where they're going to be. I'm not allowed to put any more points in the special. And at level 78, I will no longer get perk points. So we may or may not actually finish the playthrough before I get that far. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, strength of 9, Perception 10, Endurance 8, Charisma 9. Intelligence 9, Agility 8, 7 for Luck. Tag skills are Gunsmith, Medicine, and Rifles. Again, going back to uh, her experience on the road as a caravan guard. 
Uh, obviously, the, the gun skills come in pretty handy, and she picked up a bit of uh, first aid, medical background out on the road. So um, she has a tag skill for medicine. Uh, you have some character mods, just vanilla face. Oh, no, I have um, I have many characters. Well, not many. Uh, I'm using... Let me get to the better lighting here. I have... Um, pretty much it's like the looks menu compendium. I can remember getting into some light. I think the scars are from Looks menu, menu Compendium. I am using the FSM body textures for CBBE. And I do not remember what mod the... Uh, actually, I think the tattoos... Tattoos might be a mod. I can't remember. It is in my mod list. If you do exclamation point mods, uh, that will give you the entire uh, link to the entire mod list. I think the tattoos are from an overlay mod, which I've never, never used one of those before. Now that I'm thinking of it, yes. I don't remember the name of it, but it, it is in... Uh, in the list, and the character is actually just a modified preset, a looks menu preset that is also in the mod list. I do not remember which one. I didn't really do much to change her except add the scars to kind of fit the backstory I wanted, but that's pretty much it. Um, CBB, my skin doesn't look as beautiful as that. Uh, the FSM body textures, M's, I highly recommend looking at those. Definitely check out uh, those FSM textures. Spork, Spork Spec Dick. I'm gonna stumble on that name. <laughs> Thanks for that follow. Um, yeah, I'm going to stumble on that name. I'm not going to try and say that ten times fast. Spork Spec Dick. I have to think about that every time I'm going to say it now. Uh, yeah, FSM, uh, the FSM textures, I definitely recommend those. I think they're... I think they're only 2K. But it has a, a full mod installer. You can choose the spec maps, the normal maps. There's a shit ton of options. Definitely uh, recommend checking those out. But we won't actually be seeing her very much because we are using the silent protagonist. Um, which removes the, the all the voice dialogue from your player character. So we still have Doge Meat. I think I'm actually going to wake Doge Meat up here so I don't forget him like we've done before. Get him off the bed. Traveling with Kate, which we'll check in with Kate in a minute. And Heather Kasdan should be over here. Yep, there's Heather. And uh, there's Moira the cat. She's kind of the, care the, the, the caretaker for the, uh, the hideout while we're gone. Uh, equipment changes. I, I did give Kate a new outfit. She's wearing the Merc. I always forget which one it is. I think it's the Merc Troublemaker. Hang on a second. Hmm? Come on, Kate. Time to trade a few things. Yeah, so we gotta talk to her anyway. It is the Merc Cruiser outfit. Merc Cruiser outfit from the Capital Wasteland team. Uh, level five ballistic weave, and she also has. Uh, there's a, there's a full set of combat armor underneath that. It's hidden. And um, the only other change is I am now sporting a plasma rifle. Same plasma rifle I had a while back. Uh, I had been using a laser rifle the past few episodes. I went back to the plasma just because I got a bunch of plasma rounds I want to burn through. I uh, like the... Kate, Isla, uh, Kate's awesome. Kate's awesome. In fact, let's talk to Kate right now. This better be worth it. Can I help? Um, what's going on, Kate? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. Uh, you, you noticed that, huh? All right. Um, anything else? Nice to know there's someone I can depend on out here. Okay. Um, how do you feel about us, Kate? You know where you're headed and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. Okay. Oh, 57. I thought we were higher than that. All right, we're going to have to do some more chems. We're going to have to do some more chems, get our affinity up with her. Sure. Okay. Um, once we get up to 75%, we will get her companion quest. I kind of wanted to... I would love to do that today. I don't know if we'll get that far, though. Hey, Vic, how the hell you doing? Good to see you, man. Uh, I was hoping the usual crew would be able to make it this early, and it looks like a lot of you guys are here, so I appreciate that. Uh, yes. Let me get away from the radio here. That's that's a little loud. That's a little loud. Uh, so, plan today is we're, we're going to start off with the Gilded Grasshopper. And hopefully we'll get our affinity up uh, sometime during the stream. We can do go, do go Kate's Companion Quest. Gilded Grasshopper will bring us down to... Where are we here? Uh, Faneuil Hall. Here is Faneuil Hall. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the Constitution's new landing spot. We'll have to go check that out. But Faneuil Hall... That's been in the quest log for a long time. I just never got around to doing this. So I want to start off by doing that. And then a quest I always forget about. 
I think I've only done it once or twice. Five plus years now playing this game. Well, actually five years as of last week that Fallout 4 has been out. Five years, countless playthroughs, countless abandoned, you know, fault starts, whatnot. I think I've done Diamond City Blues maybe twice because I always forget about that quest. I never go into the Colonial Tap House to, to, to start it. So I want to go do Diamond City Blues at some point tonight. And uh, we'll see how badly I can screw it up. I do believe that we can get some affinity with, uh, from Kate with that. So, that's on the plan. Uh, beyond that, if we can get our affinity up with Kate, we'll do um, do her companion quest. And then we'll see what happens. Uh, that's the rough plan for tonight, today, whatever the hell time it is, that's, that's the rough plan. So, uh, we're here at the Outcast Hideout, not too far from Sunshine Tidings and Abernathy Farm. APC is over there at Abernathy. And I think we're just going to leave the APC there for now and go by foot. Uh, actually, I want to get over to Heather Kasdan's bunker. There's a magazine over there. Um, hidden content for the Heather Kasdan companion mod. Once you bring her to... Um, this is still really loud out here, too. i got to get away from the, where the hell the radios are. I don't know if I can... Uh, if there's a spot for that. Uh, you bring Heather over to the Western Water Treatment Plant. And she says something about, oh, I should write a uh, magazine called Swimming with Super Mutants. Ten levels later, you get to go over to Heather's Bunker and there should be a magazine there. Where's Heather's Bunker? Yeah, Heather's Bunker will have a magazine over there that we can get. And I kind of want to go do that before I forget. Hey, Gadosin, how you doing? What's going on with Agent Tapeworm so early? I'm off from work today. So here we are. Uh, yeah, I, I took the day off, decided I was going to stream earlier today. Free up my evening for other things, so. Here we are. It feels good not to be working. Um, how you doing? Good to see you. So I think we're ready to go. Um, we're rested, fed, watered. Everybody's got their gear switched out. That they're gonna get. Oh, Heather still has the Gatling laser from last time. I think I'm going to let her keep that. She seems to be doing pretty well with that. Uh, no changes to the equipment room. I think we're good to go here. And, uh, yeah. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, thanks, Godosa. Yeah, I had some vacation time I had to, had to use up before the end of the year because they don't let us roll it over, so. But we actually do have a new, um, a new more flexible vacation time, so. Uh, vacation policy, so we'll see what happens with that. Oh, great, we got a red storm. Let's move quick. This area isn't agreeing with us. Yeah, we're we're. Seems like every time, every time I leave the house, we get a freaking red storm. How many streams have we had? Where I've left, go out into a red storm. All right, we're gonna have to change that. We'll go in. We'll do the waiting thing. See what happens. I've had I've had more rad storms in this playthrough than I think any other one since I've been using true storms. And fog. We've had a shit ton of fog too. I'm just gonna sit in this chair right here. Looks like I have an under um underground book, yeah. Overdue book I never picked up. That can that can just sit. I don't need any more overdue books. It might look safe around here, but I'm keeping me gun handy. You do that, just Kate. In case. Just in case. Alright. Let's go try this again. Well, let's try this again. I am also think we're getting close to where I want to start doing Nuka World. Alright, I was going to say at least it's not raining, but, uh, but it's raining. So yeah, I think after we max out Affinity with Kate, I want to see where we are, uh, maybe do Nuka World because we're getting actually getting very close to the end game. Uh, Battle of Bunker Hill, Underground Undercover, especially Underground un Undercover, kind of brings you towards the end game uh, for the railroad quest line. And I'm not ready to quite do those yet. So we're going to kind of do some more side quests. We got a couple to do. And I was actually looking through um, the Fallout Wiki last night. We've done, I'd say with the exception of maybe three or four, we've done pretty much all the side quests. So, I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll go do some Brotherhood stuff. Or we'll go do Nuka World. We'll see what happens. 
Das Jeff. Das Jeff hate just subscribed. Hey. Hey. How you doing, Das Jeff? Thank you very much for that resub. Three months. Appreciate that. How you doing? Great to see ya. But yeah, I'm probably gonna want to do Nuka World sooner rather than later. Um, and then once we get that out of the way, then we can look at the uh, the end game stuff to do. Um, yeah, I, I really can't believe that we've, uh, we've actually discovered pretty much every location on the map. There's still a couple that we haven't done. Uh, like Hangman's Alley, which there's really no reason for me to go to clear out Hangman's Alley, but we might just do that. And this Parkview Apartments, I could have sworn that we picked up the map marker for that, and I don't know why it shows cleared, because we haven't been in there yet. Although, that's right next to Hardware Town, and we did go up to the roof there. So maybe the boss for Parkview Apartments is actually on the roof of Super Mutants. Maybe that's why it shows clear. But we haven't actually been in there yet. Uh, Godosin says, about to return to Fallout 4 mods after season on New Vegas. I have no idea where to start, but that's good. That Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you got plenty of time. Take your time. Pick your mods. Once I'm done with this playthrough and my Fallout 3 playthrough, I'm going to go back to New Vegas. And be spending a lot of time on New Vegas. So, kind of the exact opposite of what you're doing. Um, okay, that's got to be Carla's. That's got to be Carla's. I'm surprised we don't have any raiders over here. No, there's nobody here. All right. Check it. Let's do some trading with Trudy. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good, Daz Jep. Thanks. Uh, it's really good to see you. Um, off from work today, so screaming a bit early. Hey, Kelly. Nobody there now. <laughs> How you doing, Kelly? Uh, hey, there's whiskey. 2 p.m. Who are you and what have you done with Red Rocket? Um, yeah, it's... You know who streams at 2 o'clock, right? Uh, miss anything yet? What's... No, nope. uh, you have missed nothing. We just left the, the hideout. We're going to go do um, Gilded Grasshopper, Diamond City Blues, and then see where we are with uh, Kate's Companion Quest. And I actually forgot to... Uh, I was actually going to take my, my clothing off before I went through the load door. A little bit of everything. To get some affinity with Kate, and I never did that. Um, but yes, off today off today from work, so we're streaming a bit early. Let's get rid of those. I think I'm all set for ammo. I definitely don't need ammo. I have... I did a count. I actually ended up with more, um... Deathclaw meat. I think I have at least 30 Deathclaw steaks back at the bunker. Back at the hideout. I have more food than I'll ever eat for the rest of this game. So... Uh, perfect time for me. 8.30. Oh, you're in Denmark, Daz Jeff. Ah, okay, cool. Um, I've been to Copenhagen once. Actually, I was wearing my Copenhagen sweatshirt earlier today that I bought when I was there several years ago. Uh, yeah, I, I was hoping that people that couldn't normally, um, catch the live streams would be able to since I'm on so early today. Uh, oh, after we die, if we do Diamond City Blues and I don't screw it up, we'll have a bunch of chems to sell, too. Um, I don't really have much to sell to her. So I think we're just going to... Oh, I have cigarettes. We're just going to go with that. Yeah, I don't need any ammo. I think we're pretty good. Uh, yes. I think we are good. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna actually going to make a save here. I'm getting famous, uh, yes, and I don't, I don't even need one of those bots to ask me if I want to be famous. It's amazing. One of those Twitch bots that want to be famous? So we're going to bypass Starlight. That's where we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go over to Heather Kasdan's bunker, and since Whiskey's here, uh, I, I realize, Whiskey, that, um, that magazine that Heather gives you is actually in her bunker. And since we're going right by here, we're going to go get that magazine. You had mentioned it a couple streams ago, and I figure since we're going this way, we'll just go get it. But we're going to avoid, uh... We're going to avoid Starlight. We don't want to talk to the Caretaker and get another Radiant Quest. Yeah, I figure I can use another magazine to put on the, um... 
the magazine racks at the at the safe house, the subway safe house, where it's the only place I have magazine racks that are empty. Hmm. Yeah, there's usually dogs down over here too. Yep. And Trudy's rage rolls on. Guy's body already despawned. It took a while for him to despawn too. But she definitely is holding the grudge. Oh, are these, uh... These seem to be raiders. Yep, these are raiders. Uh-oh, and grenades. And I'm, I'm on fire. And, and of course, there's the Brotherhood shows up right at the end. Of course they do. What were we just saying last stream? Last stream, the Brotherhood, right as soon as the combat ends up finishing, that's when they show up. It's amazing. It's like clockwork. Uh, let's see. I actually wanted to see... Yeah, 22,000 caps. I, I passed the point where I need to loot all the things. I have enough crafting stuff. I probably won't be doing a whole lot more crafting. I have all the guns and ammo and weapons I'm going to need. So, I, I keep saying this. I'm not going to be doing all the looting, but I keep doing all the looting. But definitely, uh, definitely not a thing. Um, Dash Rap says, I was in a stream the other day when there came about and adds, about to add several hundred new followers. Oh, boy. Yeah, I haven't got, thankfully, I haven't gotten one of those. Just the ones that want to be famous? Click this link and give us your credit card number. Uh, the, um, plasma rifle sound. Yeah, that's, that's the Fallout 3 plasma rifle sound. I replaced, replaced that, the Gatling laser, and the laser rifle, and the alien blaster with the Fallout 3 sounds. Is that, okay. uh, we got, oh, we got ghoulies. We got groovy ghoulies. All right. Get him, Heather. Hey, we got a level up. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. We almost didn't have a level up. So I got the level up. Got all my health restored. Oh, boy. Got the level up. Got my health restored. Then the car blew up and took it all away. How about that? <laughs> all right. Let's do our level up, then. Level 55. We almost had a run there. Right after leveling up, we almost had a run. Uh, that could have been... That would have been a first. Get the level up, get the health restored, and then die. I, I don't think I've ever had that happen. So we still got 13 skill points to, to burn here. Let's start putting some more into barter. I've been kind of ignoring barter. Uh, I'm going to bring Barter up. I'm just going to put most of them in the Barter. And then I think the other ones... Let's see, chemistry is at 75. Explosives. You know what? Let's bring Barter back down to 56. I'll put I'll put that in Explosives and we'll call it done. I pretty much... Uh, what I consider the way I play, my, my most important skills are pretty much maxed out already. Science. Science! Medicine, lockpick, hacking... So I'll probably want to start putting some points in the heavy weapons, and who knows, maybe I'll take Heather's Gatling laser at some point. So, all right. And for our perk, I was actually looking earlier when I was getting the game set up. I think I'm going to take Bloody Mess, rank four. We'll take care of Bloody Mess. We'll finish that off. When an enemy explodes, nearby enemies may suffer the same fate. That sounds like fun. So level 55, we'll take, we'll take the Bloody Mess. And we'll make a save. So I don't have to do that all over again. Can we quit down rats? 
All right, where the hell is Heather's Bunker? Oh, we gotta go over Heather's Bunker's over this way. Let's see what these guys may have had. There was a Legendary in there at some point. I'll take the ammo. Viable Blood Sample, we'll definitely take that. Looks like he's dancing a little bit. Dance Dance Revolution. One of those was a Legendary. But that doesn't matter. Yes, the Kaboom. The Earth Shattering Kaboom was inevitable. Yes. So I thought, initially, I have to actually go look at the mod page. I thought Heather had a, um, whoa, Heather, Heather with the Spider-Man jump off the car. Did you guys see that? She didn't just fall off the car, she actually jumped. I'm impressed. That was cool. Usually they just jump off, they fall off the edge, but, um, she actually jumped. I thought there was a mailbox outside here. No, it's actually in her bunker. It's actually in her bunker. And I gotta heal up somewhere here, too. What happened with the healings? Yeah, what happened with the healings? Uh, let's top off my health here. Uh, you know what? Since I have so many death claw stakes, let's down a death claw stake. Yes, this is where we want. There it is! Swimming with super mutants! I'll take the ammo, take the medics, and that. Heather has written an issue of the Wasteland Survival Guide swimming with super mutants. Yeah, because again, once you take her to um, the water treatment plant, she makes comments like, I should write a chapter of this Wasteland Survival Guide about swimming with super mutants. And she does. Ten levels later, you come back to her bunker and there it is. Let's see what it actually does. It's swimming with super mutants. Take 5% less damage from super mutants. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'll take it. We will take it. Thanks, Heather. All right, let's make another save here. I hear that place is run entirely by robots. Is that true? Oh, that, um, the Grey Garden place there, Kelly? Yes. Uh, it is a rumor that has been confirmed. It has been confirmed. Grey Garden is, in fact, run entirely by robots. At least in, uh, Vanilla Fallout 4. In Frost, it's not. There's actually survivors there. And there's Digital Partisan with the clip. Thank you, sir. Spider Heather. Yes. All right, so Gilded Grasshopper is what we're going to do first. And I think we're just going to head on down this way. And uh, we'll make our way... Actually, you know what? Let's, um... Yeah, let's head down towards Cambridge. I'm going to try and avoid Covenant for the time being. I want to... I want to go there with, um... With Codsworth. And if we went there with Kate, the way... That that would end, the little quest and covenant there, because we are a railroad agent. The way that would end would not make Kate very happy, so. We'll wait for Codsworth. We'll go with Codsworth. But for now, we're just going to head on down towards the good neighbor area. I figured it was a good uh, opportunity. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's reload this save here. Let's do this. Let's take off the clothing. Take off the recon armor, overcoat, and the under armor. So we are down to our skivvies. And hopefully when we go through the load door, Kate should, uh, Kate should like that. Kate's funny like that. Funny thing about Heather being Spider-Man, though, is the Wasteland has everything but radioactive spiders. Yes, Kate liked that. Yep. Is she going to have anything to say? Usually she says something. This better be worth it. Can I help? Uh, nope. Enough of this slog. Just point us to the nearest water. The and slog? Hold. We're not going to the slog. Sure. Antagonized was bitten by a radioactive ant. And the mechanist was bitten by a radioactive robot. How did Heather get her powers? Hmm. Too much cram, maybe? Yeah, I think if you fast travel is when they actually say something. She got... I got the affinity from her, but she didn't actually say anything. That makes me sad. But yes, it has been confirmed Heather was written by a radioactive pencil. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, I believe that's true. Yep. In fact, I believe that's so true, Kelly. You're gonna get a bite-sized Snickers for that observation. Yes, indeed. That is... That is where Heather got her superpowers, the radioactive pencils. 30 of them. 
Now the question then is, does Willow get superpowers from radioactive pencils? Because Willow collects even more pencils than Heather does. Hey, Pikachu, how you doing? All right. Where the hell am I going here? Oh, yeah, let's head down towards uh, through Cambridge. Instead of going the usual way past Grey Garden, because we know Grey Garden is, in fact, entirely run by robots, let's take a stroll through uh, downtown, beautiful downtown Cambridge. And we'll uh, head over towards, you know what? We'll head over towards Bunker Hill. And then we'll cross the bridge and go to Faneuil Hall that way. It's been a while since we've been over there. Let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, we're definitely skipping... Co if you guys heard, um, Heather was just uh, commenting that Covenant is a weird place and we might want to skip it. So we're going to take her advice and skip Covenant for the time being. Am I using mods? I, I have a few. I have a few. If you type exclamation point mods... And it'll get you a link to the mod list. But yes, I, I have a few mods. Ah, that was a jump scare. I was knew one of those was gonna. That was a genuine jump scare. That was momentary loss of muscular coordination. Just a couple. Uh, that means Heather's super effective against the big ants in Nuka World. We'll find out. We will find out. What does classic mean? Classic means... You know, a lot of things. Classic music, a classic car. But if you're talking in relation to the mods, I have a lot of mods that uh, make Fallout 4 look, play, and feel more like Fallout 3 or New Vegas. Oh, we're already here. We're already back over behind um, Watts Consumer Lock uh, Electronics. Yeah, a lot of my mod list is uh, aimed at making the game feel and play more like the older games, because I actually prefer those to Fallout 4. I have, let's just say I have a lot of issues with some of the changes this game made over the older ones. And you can fix that with mods. So yeah, this is where my, uh, my Cambridge Bungalow player home usually is, and it feels very weird not to have it. Like the uh, the music, the ambient music right now is actually from Fallout 3. I've modded in the ambient music from 3 in New Vegas, as well as uh, the Fallout 4 music. We've been through here already. Yeah, we didn't have anything the last time either. cleared that out already. But there might be mines over here still. I don't think we cleared out all the mines. Wish there was a turn-based play mod. Well, that's kind of what VATS is. Not really the same thing. So it's, a, it's a poor man's turn-based, I guess. Does Fallout 4 have a workshop? There is a workshop mode that you can do crafting and make settlements in, but I'm not doing that because I kind of hate it. But yes, it does have a workshop if that's what you're asking. Workshop mode. Hey, Ginger Ninja, how you doing? The isometric Fallout 4. That would be a thing. That would be a hell of a mod. How's it going, Ginger? Good to see ya. Hmm. 
Oh, Steam Workshop. Yeah, I have no idea if there's a Steam Workshop. Again, yeah, with the uh, Nexus, you, you kind of wouldn't need a, a Steam Workshop, I don't think. I think I've only been up here a couple times. Okay. 75 body pins. How about that? Hmm. Okay, like that. 61%. I'm probably going to want to take some... i got to start taking some chems. Number one, to get the affinity up with her. And number two, after you do her companion quest... She doesn't like it when you take chems. You have to lose affinity for that, so. Uh, Digital Party says, I joked once about demaking Fallout 76 into an online yet turn-based ISO number like the first two games. That would definitely be an improvement, Partisan. That would definitely be an improvement. And you have my, you have my blessing to proceed with that project. Absolutely. I will help you beta test that puppy. Uh, Pikachu says, kind of don't know how to mod it with Nexus. Oh, Pikachu, there's tons of tutorials um, that can help you get started. I would suggest, and other people may have other options, uh, but check out uh, Gamer Poets over on YouTube, the Gamer Poets channel. Loads of tutorials on how to use mod managers and how to get started in the basics. I would definitely recommend uh, those as a good starting point. Beta test, not, uh, yes, yes, not a break it early test application test, an actual beta, yes, absolutely. And go for it, yep, Kelly, Kelly has another good suggestion. Uh, Kelly says, I remember seeing Fallout 4 as an isometric game, but it was just a s screenshot magic. I think there's actually, I want to say that there's a pseudo isometric mode in the creation kit. That you can look at a cell in isometric mode, because I think I accidentally turned it on one time, and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. It was, uh, it was special. I, I think there is a weird isometric type view in the CK, though. Which would be interesting. Oh, shit. What am I doing? I'm trying, trying not to die on that landmine. What we're doing right now is we're, we're heading down to, uh, we're doing the Gilded Grasshopper quest. We have to find the Gilded Grasshopper. Just something I haven't done in a very long time. We're going to head down towards Good Neighbor to Faneuil Hall. We might want to go poke our heads in at Good Neighbor. It's been a while since we've been there. Faneuil Hall, which is, uh, uh-oh. What do we do with Super Mutants? We got, um, oh, these ra raiders have respawned over here. Okay. Bethesda exa exasperates their audience. <laughs> uh, that's all. Yeah, the jet will make you jittery. Nothing there now. Yeah, I think all these raiders must have respawned. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Gamer Poets and the Gopher Vids getting started with the moddings. Are you family friendly? Well, this is an 18 and over stream, so I guess the answer would that to that would be probably not. It also depends on what you mean by family friendly. I don't understand what you mean by that question. This is an 18 and over stream. I do curse and swear and and whatnot, but we don't, uh... We don't go overboard, let's put it that way. I... I... I was expecting these guys to all respawn. Yes, we, we are we are safe for work. We, I mean, we, if, if we're safe for Twitch, we're safe for work. We've been all up there. We don't need to go clear any of that out. So, uh, I guess we can just run. Run like the wind. 
That is someone I probably don't want to shoot. Now, which way do I want to cross here? Um... Hmm. You know, let's head over to Bunker Hill. We'll head over to Bunker Hill and we'll head down that way. We'll go check in on, at the Bunker Hills and see what's going on there. Uh, which is the Wastelander. Hello, sir. Looking to buy? Um, I would if you would stop. Hey, Scabber. Let's trade. Okay, he, he obviously just... I'm sure I have something to be. He wants to sell to me, but he has better places to be, so... I guess we'll let him go. Apparently my caps aren't good enough for him. Time's 11.35, now we got plenty of daylight. Not that you'd know. Because it is raining. No soup for you. Let's go back this way. Yeah, we're getting that uh, stutter we've been getting coming into Bunker Hill when everybody's weapons spawn on their back. That's that's a thing now. It's a thing I've noticed since installing the uh, the classic holstered weapons mod. We get into a few cell grids of uh, a bunch of NPCs and all their weapons spawning. Got every liquor from the Commonwealth here. Benefit of being the caravan trader's favorite bar. I, I think you may want to get back to uh, your bar, but let's see what you have. Make it snappy. Other customers are waiting. Ay, caramba. Holy Christmas. Uncle Lander with the raid. How you doing, Lander? Welcome, everybody, from Lander's stream. How the hell are you guys doing? It's a Lander raid. How is everyone? How the hell are you guys? I saw you streaming earlier, Lander, but I uh, I had other adult things I had going on here. So, how was your stream, man? Did you die? Did you crash? Did you have fun? What happened? How's it going over there in the Commonwealth's adult things? <laughs> yeah. Do I? Could... Hey, thanks for that raid, man. appreciate it. Um, favorite uncle since the man from... Yes, I agree. Uh, actually, I think I'm good. I don't think I need to buy anything from Joe here. We're good. I actually wanted to check in with Deb. Deb's not here. Carl is here. Deb probably hasn't, uh... Mom runs the surgery, so... And there's Deb. Be nice to me. Hey, again. Step right up. A little bit of everything from you all You finished over. the main quest for the railroad. Cool. See something you like. We'll never Bye. do it again. Nice talk moves <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you, Lander. Um, this is only my second railroad playthrough, and I've forgotten how many freaking quests to have you running around in, in just building the damn teleporter for the railroad. All the running around, yeah, yeah. I, I think after this railroad playthrough, it'll be a long time before I do another one. So I'm right there with you, man. Right there with you. Uh, so we're gonna just do some. Uh, just a couple side quests today. I got most of the side quests in the game done. And uh, I kind of want to get prepped to do Nuka World. We'll probably be doing Nuka World sooner rather than later. Did I have anything I wanted to sell, Deb? I did pick up some ammo here. You know, I'm going to sell that fusion core I picked up. I don't need any more fusion cores. And I'm just going to sell those to get them out of my inventory. Because I have more ammo and fusion cores and whatnot than I'll ever use. So I think Dogmeat has like a thousand of them in his inventory. I saw the Submariner's hat. Apparently, I didn't get that out of my inventory from when we did the uh, the Yangtze quest last time around. Huh. Uh, cigarettes. Uh, Pikachu, gonna start a follow-up? Have you played before Pikachu? Or is this, uh, have you just played and not modded it? Or are you new to the game? I wish I could play again for the first time. I wish I could play New Vegas again for the first time. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. I think I'm good. I don't think I need to buy anything from her. I have more guns, more ammo than I will ever use. So we're good. All right. In fact, I'm kind of thinking I might need to get some stuff out of the storage at the safe house. I'm sorry, at the hideout. Just, I got to check what my save file size is. I have... 
so many guns and ammo and bits of junk there. I might want to clear some of that out of the actual storage there to get it out of the save file. I don't want save file. Look, you've never played Fallout 4, Pikachu says. Well, I would definitely recommend for your first time using... Don't go overboard with mods your first time. Just a couple quality of life things, maybe... Um, I, I would suggest if you're doing a mostly vanilla playthrough, check out the Fallout 4 unofficial patch. But play it mostly unmodded for your first time. Rather than dump a mu bunch of mods in, experience it for the first time mostly unmodded. And that goes for any any game, really. Um, go as close to vanilla as you, as you can. And then you can get a, a better sense of the things you like, the things you don't like, the things you want to change, the kind of mods you might want to use. Ah, Arthur Lion. Yep. First time go vanilla. Yep. I, I concur. I think the first time I played van uh, Fallout 4... I started it with no mods, and 15 minutes into it, I was on the Nexus looking uh, to install full dialogue interface, because I could not stand the dialogue system. 15 minutes into the game, I installed my first mod. Like, nope, this ain't happening. Kelly says, I had to install full dialogue interface before I continued the game. Yep, same for me. And I wish that uh, Level Up Menu X was out at that point, because I would have replaced the uh, the Vanilla Perk Tree with that as well. I cannot stand the Vanilla Perk Tree poster nonsense. It's pretty awful. Alright, so we've cleared this out already. In fact, that Vanilla Perk Tree, I think I was four or five levels before I realized you could scroll down it because it was just so cartoony and kind of garbage. I didn't realize you could scroll down it to see what... I said, w where's all the skills? Uh, these are all the perks? Where's all the skills and stuff? Because I just come from playing New Vegas. That's that in, in 3. And um, I, was, I was not enjoying my disappointment. Let's put it that way. Um, so I think before we go in... I think before we go in, it's coffee time. I'm out of coffee. Coffee makes the stream go. And, um, yes, I definitely want coffee before we go in. So let's take a quick break. Grab yourselves a cup, stretch the legs, do what you got to do. And when we head back, when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll head into Faneuil Hall. Yeah, the real Faneuil Hall has a whole bunch of food vendors. And one of the best bagel places in Boston that I've ever been to. But not this one. It's just Super Mutants and Death. So we'll, we'll see which one of those we experience first when we continue. We'll be right back. At least it's not raining or something. All right. Hot coffee. We're back. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I'm not going to top off my health here real quick. I seem to be losing a lot of health today. What do we got here? You know what? Let's just down a uh, refreshing Nuka-Cola product. That'll do that. Uh, Godosin's asking, I was using XDI before, which is better now. I guess it's a matter of preference. I don't think there's actually one that's better than the other. They they do the same thing, more or less, but they are each a little bit different. I used XDI for two years. Many, many, many playthroughs with XDI, and I'm actually gone back to full dialogue for this playthrough. Uh, full dialogue actually does a little bit better job with um, uh, things like it, when you have parentheses in the dialogue choices, XDI does not seem to display those. Like when you go to a vendor, or I'm sorry, especially specifically a doctor, when you go to get um, a service, you know, like uh, removing rads, cure addictions, you get the parentheses in the pricing in the vanilla game and with full dialogue. XDI doesn't seem to do that. And same thing when you go to buy home plate from Geneva, the price doesn't show up. The 2,000 caps doesn't show up in the parentheses. It's something in XDI, I don't know if it's in the in the DLL or the uh, any file. Somebody came up with a fix for it. I want to say they, they ended up recompiling the DLL to get it to work. I can't remember. But I went back to XDI for this playthrough because of that, those issues, and it works better with Heather Kasdan. Like when you have... Um, we'll talk to Heather real quick. One time I shot the legs off a robot, damn thing just kept coming. See, 
What's up, beautiful? Uh, like the, the parentheses here, I don't believe those show up in XDI, and when you get to certain uh, points in her affinity, you'll get a, a prompt to chat with Heather, and this will be highlighted with the bright green. XDI doesn't do that. It just stays like you've already talked to her before, so you never know to talk to her. So, but it's a person. No it's a personal preference. I, I, I think for my next playthrough, I'm going to stick with the full dialogue. Um, and yeah, Kelly says XDI has some ca compatibility compatibility issues with a couple of mods. I can't remember which ones right now. I know that um, the machine in her that quest mod had some big issues with XDI, and somebody tried to make a patch for it, but it um, it didn't. Apparently, it didn't work 100%. I don't know. I, I haven't played the mod myself. I've only been tracking it in, uh, in following the comments. But, um, yeah, I think there's some other quest mods, too, that XDI has issues with. And I know there's patches for it. But um, for, my, for me, I think full dialogue, for personally, I think I prefer full dialogue interface. It doesn't use any SP. It's just loose string files. And um, it does what I want it to do. And the nice thing about it, since it doesn't have a plug-in, if you decide you want to switch over to XDI mid-playthrough, it's not going to hurt anything, because it's just loose files. So, Where I think um, XDI does have an ESM as part of it. So that's probably something you don't want to disable mid-playthrough. Whoops. Actually, that's what I wanted to do. I meant to do that. I meant to switch over to the 10mm SMG, because that is really the only weapon I've been using that has a legendary effect on it. Because the, the guns spawned with it. Okay. How are we supposed to fight when I can barely see me hey, hands Pikachu. in front of me face? Let's do the reloadings. Yeah, I... Don't get me wrong. Right. Well, I guess we, uh... We stirred up the hornet's nest. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Another one down there? Yes, there is. I can't see a damn thing. Let's turn you off. By shooting off, off your head. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think XDI is pretty damn cool. But it's all a matter of preference. And... Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Which is is why more ch more choices for mods that do similar things is always one. It's always a good thing. More choices is is best choices. It's a little dark down here. Oh, you're on Xbox Xbox One Pikachu. I'm not sure if either of those mods is available for that. I don't know. Rage! Hope Kate liked that. Where are we with her affinities? 64. Probably going to want to do some Thames here in a little bit. Immersive Tacos! Thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. Yes, the power of Todd is in those boxes. Those boxes are floating. Oh, let's get these. He hates these cans. We must disarm these cans. All right, let's head on upstairs. I think. Oh, you know what? There's a magazine on here too. There are. Gotta come out sooner or later. Mutants all over this place, but I believe upstairs, very top of the cell, there is a magazine. I'm going to take 308 ammo when I can find it because two of the guns I'm using both use the 308. I don't need the harpoons, that's for damn sure. Nothing in there. More jet. I hear, it's a rumor, again, a rumor like Grey Garden, but I hear that jet will make you jittery. It's not been confirmed though.
Uh, Ginger Ninja says he was XD along with 76 style UI skin, but as you just said, it comes down to preference. Yes. Yep. It's complete preference. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. Okay, this is racetrack at which we've read. This is all about Easy City down in Jamaica Plains, which we know all about, so we're just going to skip that. Yep. Someone there. Nope. Nobody here. It's just a noise. Stupid noises. Just as long as no one's preferences are wrong. Oh shit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. As long as no one's preferences are wrong, I'm okay with them, Partisan says. And I was gonna say there's there's traps in here that I always forget about. And that was one of them. Nothing. Must have been nothing. Must have been nothing. Must have been nothing. And then there's one up in the stairs somewhere that I always, always forget about. Like I see grenade. No shit. Like I said. Like I said. I thought the tripwire was up higher. Where the hell was that? What did I just say? Oh, there it is, right there. That's This is the one I always forget about. I saw the grenade bouquet right up there. I was thinking it was up there more, but nope. What? I right have there. something. Uh, Henry Ford once said people can have their model team any color as long as it's black. Yes. Henry Ford said a lot of other things, too. Uh... No Ford here. So... Nothing to do. They're bored. This place sucks. I'm bored. These super mutants sound like bitter cup. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, who are we who are we shooting at here? You oh. know how to show a girl. All right, you guys are very uh. No, nice job, Doge Meat. Something's ghosting us. Saw another one up there. There he is. No, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a little shot here. How about that. Actually, that's what I meant to do, and then do the water. He hates these cans. Oh, Kate, darling. Where are you? Shoot him in the groin. Get him, Kate. Kate with a caravan shotgun. I can't, I can't see him. I guess we gotta go. Do you have a sex mod? You ask me if a, if this channel is family friendly, and then you ask if I have a sex mod. No, I don't have a sex mod. Why would I want a sex mod on Twitch? That would be kind of silly. I wouldn't be on Twitch. Not for very long, anyway. You do realize that Twitch doesn't look kindly upon those kinds of mods, right? That might present a problem. Well, that might present a little bit of a problem. And, uh, no. You're here. You're here. You're here. Stop hiding. Hmm. I think he's up there. Something there. Nope, nothing there. Nothing there now. Do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. 
Mine is in the shop. Okay, let's... What else have I got here? Be luck with that. I probably... You know, I probably don't even need the food. I probably should check my companion's stim pack. I see a Pikachu. Where are you, human? I have treat for you. One time I came up here, I could hear one. He was going up. Actually, actually hiding in the elevator. He had spawned inside the elevator. I opened the door, and there he was. All right, ceremonial desk fan. There's the first one. Ceremonial sacrificial dusk fan. grenades do I have? I probably don't even need that many. A uh, 21? We're good. That's why I used a bunch on those, um, those ferals over by Heather's Bunker. Why is the heavy dead? He did not eat sandwich. Oh, technical document. There's some of those radioactive pencils that we no longer need. Yes, the heavy did not eat sandwich. This is, ah, uh, there it is, right there. What was that? That's another one I always get, uh, I'm going to make a save here. Uh, I think this one usually has a missile launcher. I think. It's been a while since I've been in this cell and done this quest. Of course, my companions are blocking my retreat. And you're a legendary. Oh, just the mutant hound's a legendary? We could... Can deal with that. JT would love picking up the desk fan. Actually, every oh, there's the magazine. Every time I pick a up a desk fan, I do think of her. <laughs> so, so. Uh, but yes, I do like the desk fans myself. Uh, all right, there's our live and love. I couldn't remember what the hell magazine was in here. Uh, companions permanently gain plus ten percent or plus ten health. All right, cool. Uh, all right, let me actually while I'm thinking about it. Let me see what uh, their... What you need? Stim pack. Okay, Kay has 15 stim packs. And how many does Heather have? Heather. Help yourself. Uh, let's see. Heather has... 14? Alright. She actually... I think she had 15. You know what? I did check. I checked last night. She had 15, so she's used one so far today. Um... Uh, Ginger Ninja says, I think my next playthrough going to uninstall AWKCR's uh, armor, smith workbench, and start using armor and clothing. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, I'm using a crafting framework and armor and clothing overhaul, and I love them. They are working fantastically. The only thing I've noticed is the crafting framework. There was a conflict, uh, a recipe conflict with... Is it be Exceptional? Be exceptional. I don't know why either of those mods are changing the crafting recipes for things. Especially the chems. But crafting framework removed, I think there was a perk requirement. So I just I just I just removed it from the, from uh, that record from the mod. Other than that, it's been great. I like it very much. Um Yeah, she's good. Yeah. AWKCR has just gotten um it's gotten a little out of control for me, personally. Okay, you had the cryogenic combat armor left arm, which we're going to leave. 
And I'm actually gonna... I don't need a new... You know what? I'll take the mutant helmet. me. Um, frameworks, things that that uh, build themselves as frameworks should not make world space changes. That's my opinion anyway. And, um, yeah, AW Case here definitely makes world space changes, as well as Armor Smith Extended. They both make world space changes I do not want. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I need here. Hey, Lilac, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, let's see. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. You know what? We're going to leave that stuff. We are going to leave that stuff. And I'm going to make a save before we go out. Because we have to head outside. Hey, Altiochus. How you doing? Uh, the Faneuil Hall roof. Let's head out there. I believe this is where we should find our... Elusive Gilded Grasshopper. Yep, there it is. And we did clear all this out here already. So, there's Marty. If you remember, we listened to Marty's holotape, which is what led us here. Marty was looking for the, uh, the Gilded Grasshopper himself, and it did not end well for him. So we're just going to take those things. Uh, I don't need the better fedora. We'll take that. Actually, go up here and get the gilded grasshopper. Food for the grasshopper added. Okay. Read food for the grasshopper. Food for the grasshopper. What's new and exciting? Well, we haven't died yet, although we did come close. I leveled up, got my health restored, and then a car blew up right next to me and almost killed me. So, that would that would have been a thing that I'd never done before. Uh, let's see, so, note says, Shem Drown made it May 25th, 1742. To my brethren and fellow grasshoppers, fell in ye year 1753. 1755, November 13th, early in the morning by a great earthquake by my old master above. Again, like to have met with utter ruin by fire, by hopping timely from the pu my public station, came of the broken bones and much bruised, cursed and fixed. Old master's son, Thomas Drown, June 28th, 1768, and though I will promise to discharge my office, yet I shall vary as ye wind. On the banks of the Charles, where forever rests Master Shem, there one can find life's worth. Okay. Hey, Phantom Diamond, how you doing? Find Shem Drown's grave, which I believe is back over near Railroad Headquarters. Oh. No. Find Shem Drown's grave. I thought there was a map marker for that. Maybe we have to get down first. Yeah, that's back over behind Old North Church area. It's back over this way. So we're not too far away. Hey, Sister Wolf, how's it going? Good to see ya. Uh, so I think we're good with all this stuff. Oh, there's a toolbox. I'll take the Wonder Glues. Hey, just give me one second. My, my stream stalled here. Again. down this way. I should be able to just jump down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Daz Jeff says, I always take McCready on this quest because he loves it when you dig up the sword. It's not easy to make him happy. I'll tell you, he's easier to make happy than, than frickin' Strong. Holy Christmas. Strong hates frickin' everything. Right, where are we here? You know what? While we're here... Since Lilac's here, where we're going should be very familiar. Let's go see Opal. It's been a while since we've seen Opal. There she is. I buy and sell. 
Just put up everything you got and let's see if we can make a deal. Ah, uh, sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, Opal's freaking awesome. Okay, one of the best vendors. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell those microfusion cells and the five millimeter rounds. I have more than I'll ever use in all this. All this stuff, anything ammo that I don't need for weapon that I have, I'm probably just gonna sell today. I have thousands and thousands of rounds in storage back at the house, so I'm actually gonna sell a couple of those. I've really got to start thinning out the stock of things uh, that I have back at the house. It's way too much. Uh, yeah, I had never actually traveled with Strong before this playthrough, and I probably will never do so again. I, I can officially say I've actually um, had Strong as a companion and made it all the way through, and I, I don't need to do it again. Uh, kind of like X688, I'll never travel with X688 again either. I did it once, and that was one time too many. <laughs> as, as much as I was complaining about Strong, uh, X688 is the absolute worst companion, I think, in any Fallout game. And I'm I'm qualifying that I haven't played one or two yet. So. I know about the companions in those, but I don't know. Uh, since I've never played, I can't say how they actually are as companions, but Strong is pretty awful. Let's see. Uh, well, I'm starting early because, A, I was off. Off from work today, and, um... Oh, I'm breaking her bank. Alright, let's buy some stuff. I'm off, off from work, and I kind of wanted to free up my evening to do some other stuff, so... Uh, when I would normally be streaming. Let's do the plastic... And that's good. We'll break her bank. Okay. See you later, Opal. We'll come back when you have more caps. All right, but once you get to uh, playing Frost, once you get access to downtown, she's right down the road from Valenti Station, which is normally right over here. Yeah, Opal is vanilla. So in Frost, you come in here. This would be Valenti Station which connects to downtown, and I love coming out here and selling my loot to Opal. Uh, where are we going? We gotta go back this way. It's dark and raining and I'm confused. That's right, we gotta go back this way. This will work out pretty well. How the hell did miss her after all these years? Honestly, Vic, I didn't even... I I think I ran into her once and forgot about her, and it wasn't until I started playing Frost again that I rediscovered her, and like, oh, that's right, there's a vendor over here. I think we've cleared out the, uh, the ghouls out of here already. Yes, yes. In fact, if you, um... I, I meant to point it out, there's actually a rail sign before you get there, and I think it's an al uh, a railroad ally rail sign. So Shem Drowns Grave, let's dig it. Can you dig it? I knew that you could. See, you should have to have a shovel in your inventory to do this. And look at all the loot. Look at all these nice retextured copper, gold, silver, new textures, new meshes. Shem Drown Sword. It's a unique legendary added by a quest, so I can pick it up. I can take it and put it on. It belongs in a museum. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we'll grab that. Hey, DB Cooper, how you doing? Uh, vil vanilla, but not essential. Oh, that's right. She is. She is. Uh, she is not essential. That's right. Between mutants and shit, there, it's highly likely she'll get killed by something wandering through her alley. I've never actually seen her come down off the perch there, and she's got those turrets. But, um, yeah, she is definitely non-essential. Uh, I've forgotten about that. Fear not! Through Devil's Iron makes this blade, only he who wields can make it wicked. It's all about making it wicked. 
may have blown her up once or twice completely by accident, I'm sure. I'm sure it was completely unintentional. Uh, let's see. Let's check out that, uh, that sword. Shem Drown Sword. Plus five points of direct radiation damage and plus four radiation damage per three seconds. All right. Nothing I'll ever use, but it's cool. Um, and we have it. It belongs in a museum. So yes, I got these wonderful uh, the copper, silver, and gold retextures. They look more like the, uh, the the gold bars from Dead Money, New Vegas. They're, they're pretty cool. All new texture. Textures and meshes. Meshes and textures, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they look pretty awesome. I like them very much. The vanilla ones look kind of like garbage. All right, so that's that quest out of the way. You should have to shovel in your inventory to do this, but it isn't an Oblivion game. <laughs> and you know it. Yes, I know. Uh, you got cornered by a mutant and, well, things went downhill. Gotcha. We've all been there. I think I killed Cricket one time doing that. I, ha I got attacked by something and Cricket was just kind of in the way. And I think I had a missile launcher and I think I took out Cricket with splash damage from the missile launcher. It was ages ago. Um, Alright, so that's that's the Gilded Grass. We actually have the Gilded Grass Hopper. Is that, is that junk? That is junk and it weighs two. Carry weights up to 374. That's not too bad. Uh, I may actually want to go drop that off someplace, though. Oh, the APC's not... I was going to say APC's not at Diamond City. Normally, I would drop it off there, but we left the APC up at uh, Abernathy Farm. Hmm. Okay. Now, let's head over to Diamond City. Maybe uh, I can offload some of this junk and stuff that I don't need. Uh, I think... Yeah, we'll go to Diamond City, and we'll try and pick up Diamond City Blues. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, we should go and discover the uh, new resting place for the USS Constitution. Check in on old Ironsides. Because it's, it's up there now. It's right up there. The Pit Boy mod. Hey, Damien, this is the. Whoops. Let me see if I can get into somewhere there's actual light. This is the. Uh, well, it's it's pretty dark out. It's the Fallout 3, uh, the Capital Wasteland Team's Fallout 3 New Vegas Pit Boy replacer. It looks just like the New Vegas and Fallout 3 Pit Boys, except that the buttons don't work, which makes me sad. But it is a uh, it is uh, it's awesome, and I will never play without it again. Ginja Ninja with the gift sub. Agent D.B. Cooper. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I knew there were dogs in here. I thought we came in here already. Thank you for gifting that sub to Agent D.B. Cooper. D.B. Cooper, enjoy that gift sub. Those emotes. All that wonderfulness. Is the mod on Xbox? I have no idea. Don't play an Xbox, Why don't have an Xbox. Back? I have Yo, no idea what mods are on something. Xbox. Alright. Yeah, that, uh, that shouldn't be there. Appreciate it, Ginger Ninja. You did find it, Damien. Okay. Um, I think the Capital Wasteland team actually does put their stuff on Xbox, um, but I I don't follow what mods are on Xbox and consoles, so I've, I, I can't say for certain, but I do think that they, they put their stuff out. All right, everybody, another desk fan. We got to do the desk fans. We actually came in here already before we even discovered the Constitution. Yes, we did that. We did that. Let's go up and say hello. Yes, yeah, so we were doing the Mila quest for the railroad. We came in here. I said, this is where the Constitution ends up. Actually, the Capital Wasteland team, the, the same author that put out the Pip-Boy mod uh, last week, 
Was it last week or week before? It must have been last week. Now has the New Vegas Mantises as a Fallout 4 mod. And they look pretty awesome. All new skeletons and animations. I was watching somebody, uh, streamer used them in their uh, playthrough a few days ago. The animations look really awesome. They're not just skeletons and animations reused from an existing creature. They're all new. And they seem like they deal a lot of damage. So, yeah. Here's the Constitution's new home. Uh, Captain Ironsides. Let's check in with him. Yeah, I think we came up here before, and there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing here. But now now this is where, uh, where the ship is. Captain Ironsides, you didn't get... Turns. You didn't get what very a far. Glorious success. True, the mission is not quite complete, but one cannot deny our progress. Uh, you consider this a progress? You literally went a few hundred, a few hundred yards at the most. Wholeheartedly, madam. I wager at this rate we should land in the ocean in one, perhaps two more launches. My circuits tremble with excitement. <laughs> so. Are you actually going to launch the ship again? With the courage and support of my faithful crew, our eventual triumph is assured. Uh, well, I'm glad it all worked out. Or something. That it did. In recognition of your courageous role in this, I hereby promote you to the role of Honorary Lieutenant. And being that I, well, cannot actually fit below decks, I hereby give you the captain's quarters as well. All right. Yay. Yes, not only do you get you get the lieutenant's hat, I'm sorry, the lieutenant's hat. I actually uh, don't remember what this looks like. Let's see, does plus one charisma. So, uh, you, you, you know who would look great in this hat? Billy. Billy would look great in this hat with his broadsider the next playthrough. Yeah. We're, we're going to give Billy the, the, the lieutenant's hat with his broadsider. That's that's that. Uh, but you also get the player home. You also get uh, you go down below decks. You get to use the captain's quarters. Hancock would look awesome in it, yes. I was thinking, um, Hancock is a companion, and there's a mod that pretty much adds children's versions of all the, um, all the clothing in the game. Dress Billy up in, ha uh, in Hancock's outfit and have them, uh, travel together. Oh, this stuff is still stealing, though. That sucks. Yeah, this is, uh, I can sleep in the bed, but I can't take the things. Well, that's, that's silly game. And if you take take anything, the whether ship's the, structural integrity is well below recommended levels. Uh, but w w possible, whether they see you or not, they'll so turn hostile. Everything will work out. Anything looks better on Billy. <laughs> Play a part in something so magnificent. I'm programmed to burst with excitement. Huzzah! Huzzah! Well, that's disappointing. I I thought that after you helped with the ship, he gave you the captain's quarters. You could sleep in the bed now. I would have assumed all this stuff would not be stealing, but game says otherwise. All right. You know what looks best on Billy? A locked refrigerator. <laughs> uh, actually, it's very stylish, yes. But we did find out. We did find out that Billy is a little liar. He gets out of the fridge whether you want him to or not. He can get out all on his own. And Heather, ha Heather had him pegged. She says something along the lines of uh, Billy sounds, seems like a little scammer. He's probably not even locked in that fridge or something like that, and he wasn't. We never even talked to him. We came back, and he was out of the fridge. That's cool. I think that's only the... Uh, I always forget to come back and check on the ship. Heather pegged Billy. Uh... Oh, that's right. This is a, we uh, we don't have those kind of mods installed. That's right. We've already had this discussion. Nope. Wah, wah. Yeah, we don't have those kinds of mods.
Not saying you're wrong, Kelly. Not saying you're wrong. We don't have those kinds of mods. <laughs> uh, what's the mod that displays the stats of the item by looking at that? That is HUD++. And I, will t I can tell you uh, for certain that that is not on Xbox because it relies on the script extender. Oh my. Yeah, that... Any script extender mod I can tell you with 100% uh, certainty is not on Xbox. Alright. So that's the Constitution. Uh, is there anything in here that I need? Actually, I, I don't need those things. We're good. God damn, it's like 3.30 3 in the afternoon and look how dark it is. Look how freaking dark it is. Hmm. Uh, no, I have no idea what mods are on Xbox. I couldn't couldn't help you with that. I have no idea if there's anything similar. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone in chat that plays on Xbox might know, but I don't follow console mods because I don't don't use consoles. So. All right, so let's head over to Diamond City. Let's head over to Diamond City. Uh, three thirty. Look how dark it is. Is that time of year if you're far enough north? Oh yeah, I've. I'm not. Uh, I'm not prepared for how. How dark? Well, I forgot about that. I was just gonna say there's a. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's um. It's dark here, because I'm upstate New York. It's dark here by almost 4 o'clock. So, this isn't too far from what I'm experiencing right now. Alright, so we are here. Mass fusion. Mass confusion. What hell, hell happened here? Did we do this? We must have, because he's, uh, down to his skivvies. Oh. Nope. Just noise. Just noise. Payday. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did you guys hear what I heard? Now, we are friendly with the Institute, but, uh... Since we're with the railroad. Where the hell are you? Okay, they do not take a lot of damage from that. Yeah, we are on good terms with the railroad for the time being, but every synth patrol we come across, we take them out. Hey, Asixian. Uh, the plasma rifle sound is... Uh, it's its the Fallout 3... Um, whoops. It's the... Oh, there he goes. There's your typical Brotherhood uh, vertebrate pilot. It's the Fallout 3... Um, Plasma rifle sound. I've replaced all the energy weapons with the sounds from Fallout 3. Yeah, that's not really doing a whole lot of damage to him. Hmm. Let me catch up on Che here. Let's see how long the vertebrate lasts. Well, there you go, Ginger Ninja. That answered your question. <laughs> Not long at all. Not long at all. Oh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it... Hang on a second. That might 
be the that might be the sound from Eve from the Fall 3 version of Eve. I can't remember. I thought it was the vanilla one. Cuz I know the laser weapons, the laser rifle I have the Fall 3 replaced. This might be from from the Eve overhaul. Let me double double check that. I was pretty sure it was the vanilla Fall 3 one though. Hmm. Uh, Vertibird lasted for a while. Well, I do have the mod that makes the Vertibird stronger, so... I think he lasted an another 15 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds. <laughs> uh, yes, I am a huge fan of Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Um, absolutely. Almost tempted to go, since we're right, we're literally right around the corner from, uh, from the safe house. Let's go ahead there. Let's go ahead there. Maybe drop off some stuff. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that because uh, Heather has a Gatling laser, I'm 99% sure the Gatling laser sound is the one from the Fallout 3 uh, Eve. But I think the plasma one is vanilla. It, okay, it must be the Eve one then. Except for the stuff Dad bought as a caravan stuff. No, math reading. I know the I know the laser rifle is the um the Fallout 3 one. Too many sound replacers, I can't keep them all straight. I should have a plas I should have a laser rifle down here. Let's, let's take a look. Take a look. Let's go find my gun cabinet. Hmm. It's automatic. Vic Whiplash. With the gift sub, the Damien74 Gamer. Thanks very much, Vic. Appreciate that. Damien, enjoy that gift sub. Invoker Gray. How you doing? Thanks for that follow. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is the Subway Safe House Player Home. It's one of my mods. I, I put this together a couple years ago. I don't have... I have an automatic in here, but I don't think that's going to work. Let me just see what this sounds like. Oh, I don't have any... I guess I do. Yeah, that's... That's the... I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't replace the automatics. Um, let's see. Porting sounds from Eve to New... Uh, Fallout 4 just be a matter of putting them in the right folder with the right names. Correct. Yep. Um... I don't even think I... I think they were WAV files when I extracted them. Pretty much all the sound replacers, I just set, uh, converted them to waves if they weren't already. And then, yeah, you just have to rename them to match the, uh, the vanilla files and make sure that the file path is the same. But that's it. Uh, like, I've replaced the, um, the light switch sounds. Uh, Modlist has a whole bunch of... Um, Whoops, the sound replacers that I have. Like I've replaced the level up music, uh, the Pip Boy sounds, the the Pip Boy Rad sounds, a lot a lot of the um, the vanilla Fallout 4 sounds I've, I've replaced. All right, we're gonna get rid of the Rads on the infirmary. Doge Master, hello. And let's uh, let's heal up here. Uh, Dash F says, I saw your last Normies Capital Wasteland video and the plasma rifle is a lot louder. The plasma rifle on my character in that Fallout 3 playthrough, Dash Jap, is, is unique. Um, I'm using, uh, there's a unique plasma rifle called A321's plasma rifle. You get it from a quest. Uh, the e EVE is an energy weapons overhaul. There's a version for Fallout 3 and for New Vegas. The Fallout 3 version actually makes some changes to A321's plasma rifle, including a new sound. So the sound that you're hearing in um, in those videos, that's not the vanilla sound. That's completely different. It's a completely different sound. I actually replaced the mesh too, 
but I really didn't like the mesh at all, and it was causing me some problems. So I reverted it back to the vanilla, the vanilla plasma rifle. Um, are we gonna do anything here? Yes, I want to actually get rid of some junks. I'm gonna get rid of the junks here. And try not. I, I think I'm gonna not scrap the. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, the copper bars. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Desk bands. I just want to get this stuff out of my inventory. The Gilded Grasshopper, I'm going to try and hang on to that. I'll store that somewhere. You know what? I could probably use that stuff here. 54 tin cans. We don't need those. Okay. That does a bit for the, uh, the carry weight. I think the Grasshopper, I'm hesitant to scrap it because it's kind of cool. So let's actually put that in the safe here put the Gilded Grasshopper in there. Okay. Um, let's see, if what am I doing here? Through here recently, they haven't left a trace in all this dust. I know, Kate. It's, it's, a, it's amazing. Okay. Let's cook up some stuff I suppose here. That's something worth building. And I think it's almost Whatever coffee it time is. again, too. Yes. Definitely need some more coffee. Let's cook the iguanas. Hmm. Yeah, food for days. I'm gonna actually want to leave some of this stuff here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Kate can't quite make up her mind whether she likes uh, likes places or not. She's, uh, you know, that the jet's making her jittery. The psycho's clouding her judgment. I'm actually going to dump some of this food in here, because I don't need it all. I'll hang on to that. Get rid of one of those. Let's see, three Mirelurk eggs. I'm actually going to leave those here. Put one of those in, put a couple of those in, get rid of those. 354, that's pretty good for the carry weight. We got two refreshing beverage. That's good. Sugar bombs. Probably could just sell those. Maybe I'll get I'll sell some of that stuff to Slim. Let's get the uh, let's get those eggs out of my inventory. You know what? Screw that. I might want to sort some other stuff here anyway. I'll put it in the sorting container. I will put. I think these should go. These should sort right. What am I looking for here? You know, yeah, I'm going to sort some of this stuff out. Use the sorting container. The jet, I'm going to get rid of half the jet. We don't need that much jet. Uh, the medax will hang on to... Psycho. I'm going to get rid of a few, few of those. I got 13 Psycho jets? Jesus, okay. Uh, let's get rid of some of those. Some of those, just so I have a little stash here. Uh, that can go... I don't need seven stealth boys on me, so let's get rid of three of those. One of those can go, and I think that's good. There we are. Uh, so Cap uh, Vim Capsin Blunt, have you read the terminals at the Vim Factory to see what it actually tastes like? Yes. Yes, the taste of Maine is fish. Yep. That's why... Uh, do I actually have it there? I think it gives you a minus two, yeah. Uh, it gives you a minus two charisma. It makes sea creatures hesitant to attack you. Yeah, that uh, the minus two charisma is because of the flavor. And the what? The, I think I, I think the journal entry said something about when you sweat, it makes you smell like fish. I think that was a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, Damien, those 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 wonderful emotes are part of your gift sub. So enjoy those. Use them wisely. Use use those superpowers for good and not for evil. Right, I think. You know what? Let's let's sleep here. Let's sleep here and then go to Diamond City. Actually, it's probably um break time. Get some sleep here. Let's go for we'll do 14 hours. I'll probably need to eat and drink after this, but I definitely need to go get some coffee, so we'll be taking a taking a little break here.
glad the society that created it got nuked. And that's vengeance for coming up with Vim's Captain Blend. <sighs> okay. Oh, slept so well. Alright, so we should have... Water cooler. Not for evil, that horse has sailed. The horse has sailed, yes. It's right up there with the, uh, with the Constitution. And... Let's... What's good for eatings? You know, let's just get rid of some of these, um... MREs. That's good. Alright. Um... There's... Kate, doge meat. I could have put doge meat into the bed, but that's alright. Where's Heather? There's Heather. Alright. I am going to take a quick little break here, everybody. Got to get, got to get coffee. Coffee makes the stream go. Coffee is very important. We'll be back. We'll head over to Diamond City. Um, do Diamond City Blues again. It's a quest I've done maybe twice in all the years playing this game because I always forget about it. And uh, we'll be back. Grab yourselves a coffee, or just grab yourselves. I won't judge. See you back here in a minute. Okay, we are back. Back, back, welcome back, Mr. Cotter. Uh, thanks for sticking around, everybody. Uh, let's just find where the hell Kate went. I thought I saw Kate down here someplace. Where did Kate go? Kate, where'd you go, darling? Kate! There she is. Where the hell did you go? Uh, I just realized, before we leave, something very important. I got magazines to drop off. Uh, all the magazine wrecks at the Outcast hideout are full. So this is the overflow lot. That magazines to put low, put here. Mr. Sandman, hello, how you doing? Uh, I got the Live and Love. Uh, Heather's, Heather's magazine needs to go here. Swimming with Super Mutants, we'll put that there. And is that it? No, I think that's it because we did clear off the um, magazine maintenance last time around. All the magazines, yep, last stream we dumped off whatever magazines we had left. So we've got that the uh, last shelf there, and then we got a whole nother shelf over there. Uh, doing good, thanks, Mr. Sandman. Doing good. Uh, just took a break. We're gonna head over to Diamond City, and I'm gonna attempt to do Diamond City Blues, I think, for the second or third time in my all the years I played this game. And try not to screw it up, because I do believe we can get affinity with that from Kate. Let's see where we are with the affinity on her. 72! Alright, so once we hit 75... We'll get her companion quest, and we can go and do that down the Vault 95. So, um, very important. Also, don't want to forget. Let's, uh, in that uh, in that vein, let's take off our clothing and uh, get down to the skivvies again. Yes, the the Fall Three Classic underwear, and we're gonna head out and get some more affinity with Kate because she likes that. Uh, my week was good. DJX, how you doing? How you doing, man? Uh, short week for me this week. I took today off. And I was off Monday, so I only worked three days. But I paid for it. I definitely paid for it. Work was hell. How you doing, man? It's good to see ya. So we should get some affinity with... with Kate. Did she like that? I didn't get the notification that she liked it. Kate? Kate? Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. You wanted to ask something. Yeah, um... Your thoughts? Hate to admit it, but I'm having the time of my life. Alright, well, I'm, I'm here in my underwear and you didn't give me any affinity. No problem. Okay, and yep, that's it. And it's, uh... It's cloudy again. You're back in the CK, DJX? Oh boy. How's that going? Yeah, I was... Back in my uh, in it myself earlier this week, and maybe some more tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Better than expected. Well, that's a plus. It's always a happy thing. Oh, you know what? We haven't been in here, have we? No, Warren Theater. We have not been in here yet. This is an unmarked vanilla location. I always forget about this. Oh yeah, this is another location that could have been something. But it's pretty much nothing. Magnifying glass, we don't need that. Mm, I think we're 
good there. Oh, take the blood pack. Kate, Kate, Kate didn't know. Kate didn't didn't give up the affinity. Nope. Going down. Very disappointed. Ground floor. Uh, good guide for using the CK. Uh, Vic, Going I would suggest up. uh, Sedden four four nine four tutorials on YouTube. I think Sedden has some of the best Going CK up. tutorials I've ever seen. Um. That's the first that's the first one that comes to mind. Hmm. Um do you guys see anything out of the ordinary here? We got mannequin, mannequin. Mannequin? Mannequin. That's not a mannequin. That's a synth. Yep. Trying to trying to blend in. Trying to blend in. And we got a teddy bear. Jangles the frickin' moon monkey. Yeah, the first time I came into this, I had no idea that there was a synth there. And then I saw it move, and I'm like, whoa! That was, uh... That was a thing. That was a thing that happened. Uh, bowler hat. We have a bowler hat for Cod. Actually, I have multiple bowler hats for Codsworth, so... Final camps. All right, let's go. That's it. A synthekin, yes. <laughs> How many hours do I have in Fallout 4? I have no idea. I do not know. I've been playing with Steam. Oh, we did get some Insta Mash. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Uh, I've been playing with Steam offline mode for probably three years. So I don't get caught up in the uh, the Creation Club update BS. So, I have no idea. Many, many hundreds. Many, many hundreds. Mannequin Skywalker. <laughs> yes. I won't say thousands. It seems like it. But I probably have eight complete playthroughs, numerous unfinished playthroughs, and many, many, many hours testing mods and whatnot. Yeah, when you take Steam offline, it doesn't record your actual time. And I run it offline so that when Fallout 4 updates for the Creation Club nonsense, I don't get screwed. I can update when I want to update. Okay. Um, Luke Skywalk, man. <laughs> uh, I miss, I miss having a Walkman. All right, yeah, Diamond City should be back this way. I thought we came through here before too. Yeah, we did last time because we took out that turret. You know, I think there's. I think I remember there being a bunch of raiders up here. And this is like another one of those places that I never go to. But it's cool that they have it. Way the hell up on the top. Little raider camp up here. Like, way up here. And all the... You can get... You can. I think you can actually get over... The, yeah, there's a table up there. All these places are connected. I thought there were supposed to be raiders up here. Unless we killed them all already. Yeah, there's a mongrel cooking station. No idea how we're going to get down. There's a bed. This is pretty freaking cool. Uh, Partisan says, I miss having a portable CD player that would just start skipping for no reason. Yes. I don't miss having my vinyl skip, though. Because that meant that there was usually a scratch on the record. And I hated that. 
another, another bobby pin. Uh, I'll take that. The rest of it, we're just going to leave. I switched over to cassette tapes. Um, after I got my first car, I had cassette tapes for eons, it seemed like. And then I got a car that had both a CD player and a cassette deck. And then when I got my first iPod, like the first iPod that came out, the very first iPod. Oh, looks like somebody tried to jump over there, didn't make it. I never noticed that. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could try and jump over there, but we're not gonna we're not gonna attempt it. Yeah, somebody didn't quite make it. That's a thing. Alright, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I'm gonna save first though. But yeah, I um got my first iPod, the five gig, the original one. The one that was like the size of a brick. Then only hold only hold held five gigs on it. I literally had a box of cassettes, a big cardboard box of cassette tapes in the trunk of my car. All that music went onto the iPod and I still had had room left over. Don't fall there, Doge Meat. Hey, look at that. We made it. We made it. Hey, Kelly, take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping in. Whoops. Damn it, I, I was going to grab the Insta Mash and she fell. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, I wanted the Insta Mash. Damn. Uh, can you show me the way to put your HUD to the shaded green? Yeah. Um, what you do is you come into whoops. You don't do that. You don't do that. You go into your settings, display, and you just go to the uh, the HUD color and the Pip Boy color. And I have it set to the um, pretty much the same values as. As the Fallout 3 uh, Pip Boy. I actually got the RGB values from someplace and I put those. You can do it here. If you're on console, you'll have to do it here and I you just have to kind of wing it. But I um I actually got the RGB values from a mod on the Nexus and put those into my any file so they were exact. Um color for the red, color for the green, color for the blue. On console, you kind of have to just kind of wing it there. How the hell do I get down? That's 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 the very important question of the day. How the hell do I get down? Uh. Oh. Um, how about giving me some affinity with that, Kate? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's heal up. What do I got? Let's start using these freaking quantums here. Uh, oh, all right. So uh, there you are. There's the insta mash on you. That's the one that she was up top. There's your insta mash. You get an insta mash. You get an insta mash. Everybody gets an insta mash. Where the fuck are we? All right, this is. That's not exactly where I wanted to go. I hear, I hear a missile launcher. So let's head towards the missile launcher. That's probably Dart Dartmouth Professional Building. Strong should be around here. Whoa. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Strong should be down that way. Are they all jumpers? Well, you know, peer pressure. Why are we in caution? Somebody's over here. Let's go say hi to Strong since we're here. Checking our minty beefy boy over here. Yeah, he's there. There's Strong. I don't know who's shooting. I hear a flamer, too. So I don't know who's shooting at what. And somebody has a freaking mini... Where is that coming from? 
I have no idea where that's coming from. Oh. Alright, well, Heather took him out. Heather knows, seems to know where they are. Look at her go. If you're so smart, why am I kicking your ass? Whoa. Did we, uh... Is the one there player homes with the elevator? On uh, there's, there's a minigun. I don't have a player home mod over here, other than um, oh, what the hell is it here? Oh, the the courier station. That's the only player home I have over here. I don't have one over this way. Definitely not one with an elevator. It. Brotherhood shows up late. And it's still freaking raining. How about that? Get everybody? Where are my companions? Hey, Coconut, how you doing? Oh, DJX, you're talking about, yeah, the tutorial video. Yeah, that I did have a player home I was making in Dartsmith Professional Building. Yes. Uh, that was very early project, just to learn how to do this goofy stuff. That was never intended to be a mod. You are correct, though. That's that's what you're talking about. Yes. Where the hell is everybody? We can get Heather. We can use Heather's locator beacon. She should. There she is. I don't know where Kate is. We may have lost Kate again. We'll give Kate a minute to catch up. How's it going, Coconut? I am doing good. I took the day off. To play video games. I took the day off to do other things too. The the video games are just a bonus. But doing good, thanks. Hope you are as well. Um been following it for a long time. That's not something I would generally recommend. So you're the one that I keep turning around and seeing. Uh-huh. Alright, so we've Already... No. That's Hardware Town. I just want to pick up, uh... Yeah, the apartment building is over here. I just want to get that map marker. I think I remember why it... It shows cleared. Yeah, Parkview Apartment shows cleared. I'm not going to go inside. There's absolutely no reason to go in there. There's nothing of any value in there. On the roof, there is a bunch of super mutants, and we went through Hardware Town, or actually we went through those apartments that are right around the corner, that unmarked apartment building. We went up to the roof up there, and there's um, there's a walkway to get over to the top of Parkview, and we killed the, um, must have been the boss up there. For for whatever reason, that must be marked as the boss for, for, for the apartment building. Who's my favorite companion? Eddie. Eddie is best companion. Eddie is hands down best companion. Oh, we have another. Oh, Fallout 4. Hmm. I like Nick. I like Nick a lot. I think Nick is pretty damn cool. Although I like Kiri. I would say probably Kiri. Although I'm I'm very partial to dog meat. X six eighty eight, yes. <laughs> Followed closely by strong, yes. Yeah, we're not gonna bother going in the apartment. There's no reason to. There's absolutely nothing of value in there. Yeah, X six eighty eight is very um very emotional. Oh, I actually didn't see that one until I was uh, looting that. That's that's a thing. Yeah, X sixty eight gets he gets so emotional about things. You know, you could de definitely the, the the depth of emotion that he exhibits is just unparalleled in the entire franchise. Quite frankly, 
Opinion on Preston? Who's Preston? Who is this Preston of which you speak? Actually, I if you remove all the Minutemen nonsense from Preston, I don't mind Preston as an actual companion. I think he's a pretty pretty decent companion. But then you get all the baggage that comes with him. Yeah, I was I like Piper too. I people Crust and gravy, yes. People give Piper a bad rap, understandably. Uh, she can kind of... She's an, I think Piper's an acquired taste, but I, I definitely like Piper. I think she's got some great dialogue. Yes, X688 definitely has the personality of a rock, but a rock is probably more likable and in interesting. I, I concur. I, I absolutely agree. Yeah, I, I mentioned earlier that we... Um, we were talking about companions. I traveled, I X688 one time in my only, one and only uh, Institute playthrough. Next time I do an Institute playthrough, I'm, I'm not traveling with him. He's like, I would rather have a rock companion. Exactly. Yeah, Piper's like the very first time I drank beer. As, as a, um, let's just say... Before I was of legal drinking age in the state that I la live in, I was rather um, not quite to that point, and I couldn't. I, I took one swig of beer and I'm like, "Oh my god, this stuff tastes terrible." Of course, it was really bad beer too. I think it was like Old Milwaukee or something. Um, couldn't understand why anybody would want to drink that shit. Boy, did I change my tune after a couple of years. Got some Piper's like that. Piper is like that. X68 does rock. <laughs> wah, wah. I'm gonna sell some things here to uh, everything hand tooled. Get some ammunition. Sell some ammunition. Get rid of those. Yeah, pretty much anything that I don't need for a weapon that I'm carrying, I'm going to sell. And I broke Arturo's bank. Oh boy, I broke Arturo, everybody. Okay. Sim free shopping right here. Yeah, I actually like Gage. Gage Protection has a lot of potential. Hand tooled pieces. But you know, like so many other things, nice piece you doesn't got quite here. pan out. Just keep a whole. I, uh, there should have been another nice another option um, for Nuka World for dealing with Gage. That thing's not astray, is it? Dojimi is absolutely not astray. He's totally not a stray. All right. Uh, Old Longfellow is pretty cool, too. I wish they had done more with um, Old Longfellow's story earlier when you're traveling with him, because you don't, you really don't learn anything about him until you reach max affinity with him, and then by that point, it's like, well, there's nothing there. There's no there there. I never thought I'd be oh. saying this, but uh -oh. I... Uh-oh. I really need your help. It's it's talk time with Kate, everybody. Um, yeah, you learn about uh, his past, his background, when you reach max affinity with him. It would have been nice to hear that earlier. That was my only complaint with old Longfellow. I love his um, how he sings the old the old sailor songs. Um, when you travel with him, he's, he's pretty cool. Um, what what's the matter, Kate? What's going on? Everything is the matter. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back, because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Hmm. My wetness shader seems to have stopped working. I have to reload the game. Um... Calm down. Take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Is that what you've been doing? 
Hmm. Well, can, uh, tell me how we can clean you up. We take you to the doctor. What do we got to do? Well, there might be a way, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's because I couldn't sneak in doses when I thought you're not looking. That's because I couldn't keep my eyes off your arse. Exactly. Exactly. She was complaining about that. Um. Uh, how do you know this machine uh, is still inside Vault 95? I don't. But if I'm going to kick this habit, i got to find out. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. All right. Benign intervention. Bring Kate to Vault 95, which we've been to. We actually went there uh, a bit ago. I'm actually turn the quest off in a minute here. We've already went to Vault 95 and cleared out part of it. We went there to get the bobblehead. So, unless it's respawned and reset, we should uh, not have too many problems getting in there. That's what I was hoping we could do today. But for now, let's go say hello to the folks at the Colonial Tap House and see what's going on here. I almost never come in here. Come on, Darcy. Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? <laughs> Actually, while I'm thinking about it, since my charisma currently is only nine, let's, let's put on our lieutenant's hat and our fashionable glasses. Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Yes. Pour me another drink. Styling. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit. You'd better get out of here before you do something uh -oh. stupid. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt you him. You son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Kate, Kate, this is Kate's going to be just there getting fun. blood all over her. Kate, Kate's strung out. Oh, that escalated quickly. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, this escalated. Uh, Kate, you might want to move there, Kate. Or actually, don't move, Kate. Don't move. Uh, yeah, Heather, you might want to stand back there, Heather. <laughs> just, just pay your tab and leave, would you? This is awesome. My companions are completely oblivious. This is what you deserve, Cook. Totally not scripted. Yeah, standard bar fight in the Commonwealth. Care of that. Oh. I I thought maybe he was gonna get get killed to death. Wow. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. And wiping the blood off my body. Yes. That escalated quickly. Yeah, you're a mess there, dude. Oh my. Oh, Doge me. Doge meets so innocent. Um, yeah, and Kate. Kate's completely not phased. I think Kate's a little, little strung Pleasure out. To be talking to you again. Um, oh, yeah, I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink if you're buying. Uh, let's see. Some other time. Oh, actually, I was wanting to talk to you. I hope you're drinking because if you're not, well. I really can't help you. Tis but a scratch. Did I say doge meat? Yes, I, I, I say doge meat quite often. Um, and somebody was asking, uh, I've done this quest before, but I think only once or twice. I always forget about it. 
I always forget about this quest. So this is probably like my... I'm gonna say, say second or third time doing it. And I remember almost nothing. Um, what was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time. And her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Hmm. What was that arguing about? Eh, nothing much. Uh, Mercer Taco says that's a bug. Pretty sure it's only supposed to be a fist. Yeah, it started out as a fist fight and escalated very quickly, but I'd say that was a hell of a lot more entertaining than, than a basic bar brawl. Um, you don't look like you need another drink, lady. Aren't you all high and mighty, then? Why don't you get lost so I can drink in peace? Wow, now. Up, Darcy. This isn't your own private bar, no matter what you might think. Anyway, I got a bar to run. Ordering? Hmm, so this is your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hmm. All right. Um. Let me see what you have. Here's the menu. Hmm. Okay. You just have basically food. Actually, just basically drinks. Hardly any food. I don't need anything. Um. Do I have anything I can sell you? In my aid section here. Anything here I want to get rid of? I gotta start drinking some of this beer. Speaking of beer. Nope, I think we're good. We're gonna keep all this stuff. Definitely gonna keep... Oh, definitely gonna keep the Nuka Grape. This stuff is great for removing rads. I didn't realize it until recently that this stuff actually, uh... Does a good job at removing rads. Nope, we're good. Okay. Hey, Cynipus, how you doing? Uh, yes, we gotta talk to you. Are you lost? Um, I guess we don't have to talk to you. <laughs> you just walked right up into the stands, didn't you? I like your stones. <laughs> um. Okay. How do you know what my stones look like? Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. We're also, well, old. <laughs> okay. And you are. Oh, you. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Uh, wait, wait, the, the poor and... S <laughs> I don't beg, you stuck-up old bat. Fine. Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Hmm... Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm done talking to Hey, you. Kate liked that. All right, Kate. 77. All right. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe I have stones. I, I have no stones. There are no stones to be had. I'm going to leave that gear on because it will, uh, yeah, it brings my charisma up to 11. Actually, probably have some booze here. Let's drink one of these. That should bring me up to 12. Let's do that. Let's make a save. I'm pretty sure we got to leave. Go find, uh, Mr. I got shot to death, but didn't die, man. Poor guy. Yeah, I think he roams around somewhere. The wall's looking as green as the day she was built. Yeah, I did that. That's, that's the green paint that I put on there. Don't you forget it. There he is, Paul. Hey. You there. I, um, I have a question for you. Hmm. Um, go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before when? Uh, yeah, you kind of got your ass kicked by your wife's lover. <laughs> yeah. Pretty pathetic, right? Guy's sleeping with my wife, and I can't even do anything about it. So, uh, sad story, but it's got nothing to do with me. No, I need your help. I'll, I'll pay you. I've got some money, and I can get some more. 
I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? He won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to... Hey, leave Sin, how's it going? Um... You're going to have to make it worth my while. Asking for caps might make the job go down a bit easier. You should like that, uh, well, too. Okay, I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. Uh, get the shit shot out of you. He healed right quick. Well, it's outside. All the blood's washed off of uh, off of him. Um, you know what? Yeah, things didn't go too well for you the last time you were in that uh, that bar, so I think this will work better if I go talk to Cook myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. How far do you want me to go with this? As far as you need to. I don't want him dead, but otherwise, he deserves to suffer for what he's done. Okay. Alright. How's the stream? How, well, the day has been good because I was off from work. Uh, stream has been good so far. I wanted so much more from my life than this. At least I hope it's been. Um, Don't worry. You're safe from the sins here. Oh, I did, I, I did not want to do that. Oh. It was great until I broke the game. I, I can't talk to her, apparently. Gate won't let me. All right, we're going to go in the... the best thing about City, the Colonial Tap game. House. Ever done the Morowski heist? I don't, don't think so. Me. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um, Mr. Cook, we gotta have a chat. Oh yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Hmm, are you sleeping with Paul Prembook, Pembroke's wife by any chance? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. Hmm. Look, well, do you really need, do we really need to do this the hard way? I've left tougher than you bleeding in the dirt. You'd better turn yourself around before you find out what the hard way really means. Hmm. All right, this is your absolute last chance. Um, are you going to stay away from Darcy or not? Take it easy. We can talk this through. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look. No, no I don't know how Paul, it is. It's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? Hmm. Uh, promise to be good? That's your offer? You're right. It wouldn't be enough if I was in his shoes. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. You'll kill two birds with one stone, you know? Hmm. All right, you got my attention. Let's hear this idea. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Oh, Nelson Latimer. Um... Yeah, he wouldn't actually talk to me. But exactly who is he? I, I couldn't uh, couldn't get the time of day from him. Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful. I'd agree. Since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hmm, oh, wait a minute. I've got some questions first. This is, uh, a little bit more than I was bargaining for. Yeah? What is it? So, why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself, and here it is. Anything else? Would you like to know more? So, uh, so what about afterwards? Won't, um, won't everyone has a stake in this be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? Hmm. Hmm. Um, so 
Why smuggle chems in the Diamond City? They're they're not illegal here. I and mean, you got a guy downstairs that's selling them. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? Would you like to know more? I guess those are all my options, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so you're in then? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm in. Let's do this and see what happens. Now you're talking. I promise, you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. I am hungry. I'm sorry, peckish. I am peckish from lack of food. So let's have some iguana on a stick. Delicious. We better make a save before we head back out. Because it's Diamond City, and the game tends to go boom. When I don't save and enter Diamond City. Okay. Let's go talk to Paul. Hey, I heard what you did for old Travis. That was real nice of you. Y yeah, you, you, do you like the new Travis? Because I actually prefer the old one. Right, where the hell is he? Oh. oh, no. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that way. Better that way. Game doesn't work in Diamond City. Devs must be Yankee fans. Or Orioles. Maybe they're Orioles fans. Uh, it's closer it? to their neck of the woods. Um, so, uh, Cook has a plan to make us both rich. Rich. Ambush a chem deal set up by him and Nelson Latimer. You interested? If you think it's a good idea, I'm in. Cook owes me. Big time. Hmm. Uh, note? Did I get a note? I, I, I don't know if I got a note. Um, use the backup. The meat is near the back street of Para Building. I have to check it. I don't remember getting a notification that I got a note. But maybe I did. Uh, I could use some backup for this. Um, meat is near the back street of Para Building. I know where that is. Let's go. Okay. Um, actually, Good. I wanted... I knew you could handle oh. him. Oh, and I managed to scrape together what I promised. Here. It was worth it to get Darcy back. So, okay, what happened? Did he give you any What trouble? I actually wanted to talk talk to him about. Um, yeah, nothing I couldn't handle. Okay. I don't care what you had to do. Just as long as he leaves Darcy alone from now on. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll, uh, see you around. I told Paul because that's what I wanted to do. That's why. Uh, hope it all works out. Thanks. I play the game the way I want to play it. Not the way people think I should play it. So there you go. Here you like to blow stuff up. Well, just don't do that inside the wall. Got it? Backstreet Apparel, huh? Did I get a note? Uh, let's see. I don't, I don't recall getting a notification on that. Actually, if you bring Paul along and there's a certain way you do it, he actually ends up running the, 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 um, the bar, I think. Otherwise, there's just nobody there. And that makes me sad. An empty bar makes me sad. That big old bar with nobody in it. Everybody has to go to uh, the Bobrovs? Ugh. Okay. Whoa, it's foggy. And Cricket is not here, but her caravan and her bra. Oh, there's Cricket. Don't eye the problem if you got it. There she is. Got a hankering for a melting face? Then I'm your girl. All right, uh, let's see what she has. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. 
Okay. Let's... I actually sold everything I was going to sell. I'm going to keep the hat in the glasses on. Just for the charisma. I don't know if there's any more charisma. Oh, let's grab that. I don't know if there's any more charisma checks. I think there might be. I don't remember. Yeah, that's good. Get that shit out of my inventory. Alright. We got the... Yep, we got the fashionable glasses. Oh, look! We have friends. Friends are following us. Yeah, seems like a quest there would be uh, more speech checks, so we'll keep the... Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! Nelson's starting to think he doesn't... The Mercs from NPC's Traveler here. <laughs> if, I, if I had the option of going late. to Bulbarov's and the Cheers Bar... Whoa! The Cheers Bar... Of dead people across from Swan, I brave Swan. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's foggy as hell. So that's the spot. I gotta wait for them. Okay, everybody's everybody's missing. Let's save here. Oh, there, there they are. are. The meat is just ahead. But there's always four of Morowski's goons. Trish, who's in charge, and then three other guys to unload the boat and wave their guns around. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. I'll wait for the shooting to start, then join in from here. Remember. We can't afford to let anybody get away. Hmm. What about Nelson? I'll deal with Nelson. You worry about Morowski's crew. Now, are we all set? Hmm. Well, I'm still very unsure about this, but, uh... Yeah, I guess that sounds good. Because... All options lead to yes. Alright, I'm actually going to take some chems here. Not that I'm going to need them, but... They're my last opportunities for chems before we do Kate's quest. So let's do Psycho. I think Psycho's probably enough. I'm not going to waste a Med-X. How many Med-X do I actually have, though? Hang on a sec. I got 11. We'll do a Med-X. <gasps> Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, Kate. You won't be saying that for long, though. All right, so we got to take... I'm not going to do... Uh, I'm not going to do Nelson yet. We're going to do... Let's let's get our marksman's rifle out. We'll get the range master. You're gonna one. pay. Oh, shit. Well, that was easy. Oh. Terry. Oh, Trish. I always get so excited when I find duct tape. You know, or wonder. You know. Trish. Ah, you don't have to kill me. Oh, dog. I swear. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Give me a good reason not to kill you, Trish. I don't need a better reason than to shut her up. I'll tell Morosky it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. And. Uh, uh, I'll give up Morosky's Kim lab. This here? <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Uh, D.B. Cooper says, I honestly never knew about the Cheers Bar until my third playthrough. Such a great fun Easter. Yeah, I think I, I stumbled across that. It definitely wasn't, I think it was even later than that for me. I want to say like fourth, fifth, somewhere. It was a long time. And I'm still finding stuff. I'm still finding places in this game that I've never been to. It amazes me. Um, so, uh, what's at this chem lab? More chems than you can imagine. Morowski's entire stash. But you'll never find it without my help! Hmm. Tell me what you know first. Well... Okay. I'm trusting you, right? 
The lab is in the old four-leaf fish packing plant, on the waterfront in South Boston. Hmm. Alright, let's hear about all the security. The place is overrun with feral ghouls, which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. Oh, I think we've already cleared the exterior of that out. The 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 the, for, the, the clover packing, I think it's called. Over when we did on Automatron. I think we cleared that out of the ferals already. But um I'm assuming assume there's more to it than getting past ferals. You assume right. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. Hmm. You seem pretty, uh, awfully proud of this lab. Yeah, I am. Moraski's operation wouldn't be nothing without me. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. And I have the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Um, and you'll promise not to tell Morowski that I had anything to do with this. Yeah, yeah, of course. I already told you. After I leave here, I've never heard of you in my life. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got it. At everything. least it's not password. And I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. Sorry, Trish. So that's that. Oh, I told you it was no problem. The that money was... should still be on Nelson's body. Now you can and hit. There's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. He but one shot at her, but now. not him. I'm leaving town for good. Should make things easier for Paul to have me gone. At least it's not raining. Plus, there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved in this unless I die here along with everyone else. Just like that. You're leaving town and never coming back? Yeah. You won't be able to blame me for all your problems anymore. Hmm. So, uh, what are you gonna do now? Uh, I think I'll just keep that to myself. But don't worry. I've been planning this move for a while. I'll be fine. Alright. So, uh, Paul. So, it's just the two of us. 50-50 seems fair to me. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to do that because if you do, I'm pretty sure if you do it any other way, he doesn't go and run the bar. You have to do it that way. So, uh, yeah, that works for me. Great. Then you take the money from Nelson, I'll take the chems, and we'll call it even. Hmm. Aren't the chems worth more than the money? Sure. If you owned a chems shop right here, but I'll have to pay the mayor his cut, plus move all this back to town. Hmm. Okay. I don't really need the chems anyway. It's gotta be something of value on them. Yep, he took them all. Okay. Uh, I have more chems, more stuff. Trisha's note. He can have them. Early game. This is probably How pretty good, though. Pick up a mirelurk and throw it up onto an overpass. Crack Let him a residence key. Hit. Yes, we'll take that. If you're playing early game and you need caps, this is probably a good way to do this. Take the chems and you go buy home plate or, or whatever else you need. Um, all right. Cool. Yeah, I have more chems than I'll ever use, so. Okay. Let's make a save. Uh, let's see. What do we got to go now? Oh, the Morowski, which is... I'm by the castle. Four-leaf fish packing. I couldn't remember. I knew it was like clover leaf or something. Four-leaf fish packing. All right. Um, It's not too far. We could hoof it. We could make it by land. Uh, the assault rifle replacer. Let's take a look at that. Ginger Ninja is asking. That is, I believe it's called AARP. Whoops. 
I want to say it's called Advanced Assault Rifle Replacer or something along those lines. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, the version of it I'm using doesn't change the stats or anything other than it rechambers in the 308. But in it, um, it turns them into machine guns. It renames them machine guns because that's kind of what they look like. It's um, it's pretty cool. And Coconut's got the link right there. Thanks, Coconut. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I like it. Have more chems than you ever use. That means you're not using enough chems. That is a very good point. That is a valid, valid point. I guess I got. I really should start using some because once we do Kate's quest, she doesn't like it when you use chems. All right. These ghouls are still... Yeah, they haven't respawned. We're good. We are good. Good to go. Oh, show a girl a good time. I didn't even get a shot off there, Heather. Or was that Kate? Maybe that was Kate. Huh? Eh? Whoa, whoa. Another one? That there comes up. Strong. Oh! Where are you? Where the hell are you? Are you down here? Oh, you're down in the garage, aren't you? Trying to shoot through the wall. Now, how did you guys shoot through the wall? Even Strunk wanted to get in, in on it. Humans all look funny. Let's talk to Strunk. It's kind of become a tradition every time you we come through this part of town. Fighter. Strong follow you always. Uh, uh, not today there, big fella. Strong go with human. Uh, I feel bad leaving him here, but... Uh, nah, not yet. But soon. Actually, no. We're, we're lying. It's not going to be soon. Hurry. Strong no like waiting. Okay. I actually would be tempted just to send him up to Starlight. He can keep that, uh, what the hell's his name? The over... The railroad guy there. Caretaker. He can keep the caretaker company. I actually want to go this way. Uh, Swan has... Speaking of Swan, Swan hasn't despawned yet. Uh, I've got a uh, nice super mutant retexture, Uncle Lander. Uh, the Polari textures, I th think they change strong, and they may change... Hang on a second. Uh, Vir no, they don't touch virtual. I'm pretty sure they, they change strong, though. Yeah, it makes them... Uh, I think it makes... this that the one? I've got one that makes them look more like the Fallout... Three mutants. I think that's the D Polari one I have. I wouldn't touch Virgil either. <laughs> yeah, that's probably good advice. Probably good advice. All right, Slim. You good there, Slim? Gotta get over there. <coughs> yes, the area that Automatron breaks the precombines for that we encountered last time. Which is something I never knew. Hopefully Virgil won't touch you either. Yes, that would be bad, definitely bad touch. There's uh Nobody over here? No, in fact, the corpses... Corpses are those robots that we took care of last time we were here. Are still... Still a thing. Yeah. On a robot. Are we already... Here? Oh! Who are you? We got the magazine from up here. This You're a settler. I saw a Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Right nope. Back. Not so looking for cute. trouble. I saw somebody else over me. here too. Turns out, baby there she is. Cooks up tasty. 
who are you? Uh, another here, another you settler. You gotta take things one day at a time. Hey, have you ever heard, been up to Grey Garden? I hear it's entirely run by robots. Uh, let's make a save here, too, while we're at it. Uh, imagine the caretaker pissing his pants as Strong shows up. <laughs> Strong says, Human says this place safe. Human say I live with you now. Caretaker prays to every deity in existence. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's why it's tempting to do. It's tempting to send him there. I mean, all my other companions have a place to go and chill out, and Strong just kind of kind of hangs out. All right, so this is where we gotta go. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, I have done this. But I've done this part of the quest. I've actually found this place on my own. And I remember going over this way and going up to the roof and then dropping down. We're gonna do that because there are um. What is Grey Garden? It's uh, it's entirely run by robots, or so the rumor, the rumor says. Don't mind the trip wires, Heather. Okay, there's some groovy ghoulies up top here. We can take care of. What are we, uh... Now we're almost halfway to 55. So once we finish this, we can probably head down to uh, Vault 95 and take care of Kate's quest. Rumors say it's entirely run by intelligent Myrlurks. Hmm. Now that sounds like something Moira Brown would say. Are they intelligent? Is that it? That's all of them? Oh, those poor little Myrlurkies. There's a fusion core around here. Oh, the NCR... Oh, what's his name? Uh, Chief Hanlon? From Camp Golf? Yes. Yeah, there is a fusion core. And some cram. Uh. Oops. Oh, I got... S I got a disease. What did I get? I got sick from something. I have... I have fatigue. I hate getting fat at you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Chief Hanlon. Um, Chris Christofferson did the voice for him. I think it took me, like, uh, my first two playthroughs in New Vegas to, uh, to know that was him. I, I have 18 friggin' antibiotics. I think I can spare one for this fatty, the fatty glue, yes. And at least it's not tapeworm. Correct. So I, I'm actually gonna do that. We're gonna take... Take that, and I'll take the water. Yeah, I have I have more than enough. Uh... Ah. I didn't know this was up here. That's the fatty glue. Not bad. It's all ammo. I'll take it all. I'll probably sell it. So yeah, apparently Automatron breaks a precombines over here for the um the General Atomics factory because right now I'm getting. Way, yeah, it dumps down to like below 60 over here. And the draw call count goes way the hell up the. Out, off the charts. Yeah, 10,000 for the draw calls. Look at the frame rates dropping down below 60. That's a sin. Right there, that's the worst. That, that area right over there, dropping down to 55. Over 11,000. Damn it, Bethesda. Just damn it. Their own DLC breaks the game. How about that? So I'm just gonna drop right down here. Here's our happy little password. I'm on a 2080 DJX. Yeah, I'm on a 2080 and it does that. Yep. It's over 11,000. It goes up to 11. 
thousand. I'll open the security door. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's make a save. When I remember, I, I think these guys are like right inside the door here, so. That's 11,000 times the broken pre combines. And yeah, normally it should only be like around three. It really shouldn't be over five. Whoa! It really should not be over five. You mean that's it? That's it? That's it, huh? Okay. Hazmat suit. You know what? I am going to take a hazmat suit. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I have one. I might have to take a break and get a glass of water here. My throat's getting dried out. Too much damn coffee. Um, That's it, right? That's the end of the quest? That's the end of the quest. Diamond City Blues. All right. Benign Intervention's up next. That's it. Uh, creation Club content breaks the main quest. There's a reason I won't buy their shit even when it's on sale. Yeah, that was the thing. I, I people are saying there's um, you have a, you have um, problems uh, talking to Codsworth. No, I'm just gonna take all the things. We'll deal with it. I don't need the tato. We'll leave the tato. Uh, yeah, apparently you have problems talking to Codsworth. Hmm. Oh, we could go in there. Uh, ghouls and hazmat suits must be some serious stuff they're making. Yeah. Yeah, and all the wonder glue that's kicking around. Uh, yeah, I think we're not going to go in there. There's really... I think there's any reason to go in there. And I want to go do uh, Kate's quest before we call it quits for the night. I'll take all the chems, though. What else is in here? Yeah, we'll take more Psychojet, more Mentats take all the things. I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Ghouls, uh, let me just catch up on chat here real quick. Um, combat shotgun is just a big game ender. Yeah. Yeah, this one's... Well, that's the thing. Once you get to a point, you make every gun his best gun. And, uh, yeah, this thing is doing over 200 damage now, which is nuts. It's kind of crazy. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I definitely got to get a get a glass of water. Tell you what, let's take a break. Um, I definitely need to get a glass of water. It's that time. The voice is starting to go. So let's take a break. Um, when we come back, we will head down towards Vault 95 and do Kate's companion quest. We'll get her cured. And, um, yeah, grab yourselves a cup. Do what you got to do. We'll be back here and just, oh, I think uh, Kate's, Kate's busy learning. She's doing some of that fancy, uh, fancy science learning over here. We'll be back when we, uh, just a few minutes. It's pee time, Vic says. Yes. Yes. If that's what you gotta do, I'm not gonna judge. But yes. It is pee time. And coffee time. And water time. And stretch the legs time. And time time. Be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. And I see Delicious Cornbread and Can Do are both here now. Yes. Yes. And Joda. How you doing, Joda? Good to see you guys. Uh, Cornbread. Did you say not getting Twitch notifications? Yes. Um, or you just woke up. Okay. Yeah, I actually started at 2 p.m. Eastern. I I'm off from work today. Uh, so I decided I was going to stream a bit earlier tonight. And uh, do some other stuff during the evening when I would normally be streaming. So, here we are. Yeah, we started, jeez, uh, almost, god, three hours already? Damn. Time's fun when you're having flies. But, uh, good to see you guys. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. And, yes, the gang is all here. Now, now, now the stream can actually start. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, now, we've actually done, a, we've done quite a bit. You guys, uh, you haven't missed any runs. We have had, we've almost had a run, though. We actually did almost have a run. Um, right after the start of the stream, we went over to Heather Kasdan's bunker over... Um, oh, where the hell was it here? Yeah, I went over to Heather's bunker to pick up a magazine. And there was some ferals on the way there, right past the landfill. I killed one. I just... I, I got hit pretty good by some something. I think it was a ghoul got me. Level up, got the health back. And then a car blew up and basically took all my health away. So I almost got killed there. So. 
Yeah. Time travel. Time travel. Here it's Saturday morning, and I thought he wouldn't be streaming for an hour. I got a notification they started three hours ago. Yeah, time zones kind of suck. But, um... Yeah, I started uh, three hours ago. Um, I was off from work today, so I figured why not why not start earlier? I will probably be starting at the same time tomorrow, too, but we'll see. Oh! Doge meat stuck in the door, everybody. Doge meat stuck in the door. Yeah, replay for the latecomers. That was... I. I and I was, I, I think I had like a sliver of health left. I don't know if anybody clipped it or not. But, yeah. Leveled up, got the health restored, car blew up, took basically all the health away. So it was, um, it was special. It was almost Ron time. But so far, we have had no Rons. Uh, we just finished doing Diamond City Blues. Which is something, I think it's like my second or third time doing it. I always forget about it. Now, we're going to head down the Vault 95 and do Kate's Companion Quest, because we finally got the affinity with her. Uh, I think we're up to 80-ish? 86. Hot damn. All right. So, in that vein, let me take off the clothing and see if I uh, go through the load door here. We got to ex extract doge meat. Extract doge meat from the door and see if I get any more affinity with her. I'd like to max out her affinity tonight before we end. That would be fun. Did Kate like that? Kate did not seem to like that. I'm very, very disappointed in it. Oh, I'm going to take this stuff up. This stuff off. Hey, Apollo, how you doing? What is that name? I don't know what that name means. Do I have clothes back on? Oh, fashionable glasses. Those can come off. Okay. Well... Not hard to max out Kate's if you just walk around naked. Well, that's twice now I've gone through a load door, Joda, with nothing on, and she's she hasn't done any. I've got haven't gotten the affinity with her, so I'm I'm very very disappointed. Um, so what time is it now? It is three o'clock game time. I'm thinking we can head by foot. Um, I think by the time we get over towards the scavenger safe house, it'll probably be getting dark. Because we can literally just cut, cut right through this way. Yeah. Excellent outfit choice. Oh, this is... Are you talking about this, Cornbread? It is the... Um, it's Nero's Brotherhood Recon outfit. But it's the, the debranded Brotherhood skin. It's called the Wastelanders Scheme. I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the Wastelander. Recon overcoat and the armor. Yep. No, I haven't used it yet this playthrough, so I figured why not. Can I get down from here? Can I get down from here? I can't get down from here. How about that? Alright, let's go back this way then. We'll go back from whence we came. Wherever whence is. Where's whence? Senor whence says? Where the hell's the... Hmm. What freaking way did I... Oh, there it... No, that's not came up this way. Where the fuck did we come up from? There we are. There it is. Yeah, it should be close to getting dark by the time we get over to the safe house, so I think we'll just go sleep there for the night. Hmm. Let's go see what's on this boat. I've never been over here before. I've never been here before. There's a duffel bag. Hmm. Nero's armors are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I'm just gonna grab all that stuff. I don't need it. I don't use all of them. But the Brotherhood Recon and the, um, the Institute IEX outfit are ones that I pretty much always use. Yeah, we don't need to go over there. Castle's over there. We don't need to go to the castle. We need to go this way. Ah, excuse me. Throat is extremely dry all of a sudden. Uh, let me just... Okay, so this this cell... This isn't the cell with the broken pre-combines. What about in here? Because this is where it was really broken. I'm just curious which one of these it is. Nope. That one. What about over here? I don't know where the cell borders are. Ah, 
Aha! Okay, so whatever cell we're in right now, this is the one with the broken pre combine. It's gonna have to be the one in front of the um in front of the uh General Atomics plant here. I wonder what the hell Automatron changes. I'm what the hell would they ch change for Automatron to this building to break the game? I don't understand that. Hey, Nappy, do do you have a mod? I have many mods. I have a few. I have a few mods. If you type exclamation point mods, that will give you a link to the mod list. We're using a few mods. Just a few. Okay. More tricky... And what did I say earlier? I wasn't going to loot all the things. And what am I doing? I'm looting all the things. Oh, my own mods? Oh, yes. I have I have many mods. Well, not many, but I have... 20-something? 30? Uh, you go... Right there should be a link... So my mods over on the Nexus. The most of them are Fallout 4, but I do have one New Vegas patch. I am a hoarder, Candu. You are correct. You know me. Don't you judge me. No, I'm totally a hoarder in these games. How can you not be? I am so used to just having to have scrap and junk for everything. Even, even now, I don't need it. I'm still taking all the things. I don't need the guns, I don't need the armor, I don't need the food, I don't need the ammo. Oh, thanks, Coconut. That's alright. No worries. Because there's every possibility that my stream lab or my stream deck was not going to function the way it should, because it's happened it's happened in the past. The game forces you to, to hoard. Yeah, kind of. I just wish you, uh, you know, I really wish there was equipment degradation that you could repair your stuff, your guns, and your armor would kind of make it, uh, a little more, um, better. Yeah, I think, I think I actually, uh, activated all the mines through here, so we should be good. And all this is cleared out. What's the rubble and debris? I think I'm using a couple different ones, Vic. I think, like this one here, I think this is still left over from Vivid. I'm pretty sure it is. I've pretty much uh, replaced everything that I was using from the Vivid packs um, with other things, but I think I left the rubble in. I think that's from Vivid, and I think the rest of it is from the Spiffy Sky Trooper, uh, the landscape. I don't know what the hell is it called, landscape overhaul. It's one of Spiffy Sky Trooper's textures mods. I think that's what those are. All, all the other ones are from. Whoa, we just got a cell stutter there, crossing the cell border. How about that? I'm gonna heal up here, too, real quick. I need to heal up. What do I got here? Funnel cakes rule! Uh, let's see. This could also be NMC's texture bundle. I don't think NMC does the, um... Recall the NMC was doing the rubble. I might be wrong. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Come on, come on. Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. <laughs> Honestly, I am. Um, guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. When I update my um, my texture packs, because I merge everything all together, I, I take various textures from one pack and then various textures from another, and I kind of make my own. Um, compilation of them, if you will. And I try and write a ch uh, keep a change log so I know which textures come from what mod. I don't always do that when I should. So I probably have stuff in here and I have no idea what it's from. And I'm just guessing the last time I actually remember updating my change log to what, uh, 
to what mod is what. So I, I could be completely wrong about about um, the mods I'm saying that uh, I'm actually using. I'm gonna get rid of that fusion. Oh, 12 missiles? You know, I'm gonna have dog meat carry those and I'm gonna hang on to all this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna keep that. And the 4570 we'll keep too. I don't need all the 45 though. Just for my pistol. That can go. But I'm gonna give that stuff doge meat, I think. Alright, cricket, that's good. Hey, at least it's honest work. Uh let me do that and I wanna I wanna try and catch up on chat here. I know I'm missing something. Doge meat, get over here, boy. Come on. Carry my burdens, you dog. Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody was... I, I missed something here. Hang on a second. Let me scroll up here real quick. Uh, sin. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, finish running the set of previous fixes. I'll go check that cell and see if you can figure out... Uh, don't want to... Yeah, I actually was going to look in the... Um, look in X-Edit. If you're talking about the cell outside uh, the General Atomics factory. I was going to look at it in X-Edit. And see what they've changed. Um, looks like Automatron removed the previous info when adding locations to those. Ah, that's Ly I Lilac. That makes sense. Because I can't imagine there's already a load door there. What would they need to add? But if they actually added a location to it, change the cell data, that might do it. Especially if it's the, if, if it changes the previous timestamp. Hmm. Well, that's kind of silly. Uh, all right, we're gonna give him this stuff. Yeah, I meant to actually leave that Submariner's hat back home. Look at this. I love it when I catch him with his mouth open like that. It's 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 special. Now you can take twelve missiles and the gamma. Actually, I probably should sell the gamma rounds. I'll never use them. All those I will eat. That definitely helps with the carry weight. All right, Doge. Hey, Anthony, how's it going? All right, Cricket, get her back over here. Got a hankering for melting face? Then I'm your girl. Yeah, melting face is all the rage with the kids these days. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Okay. Um, what was I going to sell? Boy, I mean, I just forgot what the hell I was going to sell. What did I come back over here to sell her? Plasma? Did I give it to dog meat? Christ, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm so brain dead. Not a weapon. Oh, that's right. Whatever it is I was going to sell her, I can't. That's right. I forgot I'm using the mod that limits their... Uh, the roads, and you got a better what vendors buy and sell. That's alright. We'll deal with it. Yes, yeah, and she'll plant trees in my honor. Speaking of that... Not that it has anything to do with making a save, but let's make a save. Oh, the gamma rounds? Eh, whatever. I'm fine. I got there, I completely blanked out on when I was going to sell her. Actually, I can sell them uh, over at the uh, the scavenger safe house, because there's a merchant over there, too. We'll sell them there. Which way am I going to go? Oh, yeah, we just go across the bridge right through the mess. Oh, no, we got to go back. I'm going to go back the other way here. Go back this way. Go back through the Mass Pike Tunnel area. That hooks right up with where we want to go. Actually, no. That bridge doesn't go across. We'll, we'll just go this way. We haven't been by the random encounter area yet. Oh! I hear a behemoth. I hear a freaking behemoth. Oh, Jesus. That might have been a... Was that a suicider? What the hell was that? Yep, we got a behemoth. Jesus. And synths. Super mutants and synths. I love this area. You never know who's going to show up over here. You never know... Who is going to be here? Super Mutants and Synths. That was awesome. Look at all this stuff. Look at this studio full of fabulous prizes. Hey, right. hey, 
take all the things. Because I'm going to sell that stuff over to, um... There's a super, uh, suicider that went boom. And there was a courser. We had a courser. Uh, I'm going to sell this stuff, um... Just going to grab the things. The merchant over at the safe house. We'll sell him that stuff. Mr. Troy Augustine can relieve us of those things and give us some caps. Of course, her. Wah, wah. Yeah, I love that area. Always some sort of random encounter conflict going on. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, Coconut says, every time I go by the area, I get fuck not just detected, but fucking detected. Even with Max Sneak, I hate the place. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> mm. I usually go around it. Like, I usually go actual avoid going... If I don't want to engage here in combat or anything, or don't want to get detected, I'll just go down near the river. I'll just kind of... Oh, where is it here? Yeah, down. Coming from Oberlin, I'll kind of loop around this way and just avoid it altogether. Get right down alongside the river. There's some rocks there. I just sneak down past those. There's Mad Dog with the 50 bits. Thank you, sir. How you doing? How the hell are you? Thank you. Yeah, Courser should have a, have a chip, have a synth component. And apparently they don't. Kind of out of work. Got to work a little tomorrow too, and well, that sucks. Well, I was off today, so I started uh, I started at two o'clock my time. So we've been going for uh, three and a half hours already. Wow. At least it's not raining. Oh, okay, that's a car up there. I saw the car falling. I was like, oh, did that Yagwai over here respawn? But I don't think so. I do not see the Yagwai. It's probably a good time to head in and get out of the rain. Alright. Scavenger safe house. Let's get out of the rain. Are you too well to attend work, Cornbread? Are you still working those crazy hours? That you had going on? Troy, where are you? Oh, there he is. He's up there. Frame red for those trans transgressions. Yes! Hey, Scab. If you're too well to That's attend right. work, then uh, you can totally blame it on me. Uh, let's see what you have. Alright, I'm going to sell him. Yeah, we'll get rid of these gamma rounds. And the microfusion cells, I don't need those right now. The 7.6... Eh, you know, I'll hang on to the 7.62. All that other stuff we'll hang on to. I got... Wow, I got a lot of 308 rounds now. That can go... Oh, I actually want to try... I've never actually used the homing beacons that you get from... Uh, doing the Yangtze quest. We got those last time. I actually never used those. We should try those at some point. Okay. The course uniform, you can have that. All that stuff you can have. I'm just going to hang on to some of this stuff here. Pa I got 12 packs of cigarettes? Oh, boy. Yeah, I definitely don't need some of this stuff here, either. Um, Just get rid of some of this shit. I don't need circuitry. I, I passed the point of needing all this stuff. I'm going to keep that for fiberglass. And obviously screws. I can't sell the desk fan. That would be bad. That would be a cardinal sin. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, after last night, there was no way I was coming back tonight. Straight up told them I wasn't coming back. Yeah, I've I've been there, man. I I I totally understand. Although not quite in your situation and uh, where you are and what you're dealing with, still on a daily basis. Um, it was right. It was like middle of winter, and I was working the midnight shift, and. I think I worked like 16 days straight without a day off, and it was literally middle of winter where I am. I wake up to go to work at 11 o'clock, to be to work at 11. It was so short of it. It was dark when I woke up, and it was dark when I got out of work and came home. And I, I think I didn't see daylight for like all, over two weeks, and I'd had enough. I said, that's it. You, you, I'm not coming in. Either I'm not coming in, you're going to put me on the afternoon shift. Because that was nuts. Um... But you are definitely dealing with some shit that uh, people shouldn't be put through on such a level that you've been having to deal with it. You des definitely deserve a night off. Or two or three or four. And you can tell them I said so, damn it. You have my permission to take multiple nights off. I'll write you a pass. I think we're good. I think I, I don't think there's anything else I need here. Oh, he's got T-51. I don't need any tip. P51. I could have used this several levels ago, but I, I think we're done with the power armor. Thank you, sir. What does that do for my carry weight? 386. That's pretty good. Uh, once we reach max affinity, I'll get another 100 carry weight from Heather. Or, I'm sorry, from uh, from Kate. Speaking of which, Kate, darling. Need something? Anything wrong? Um, What's going on? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. I keep thinking that she's not going to notice, but she notices. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what's going on with our relationship? Where's our affinity at? You and me versus the Commonwealth. I'd say those are damn good odds in our favor. Okay, 88. All right. No problem. Yeah, I think we'll we'll definitely max out uh, pretty soon after we do her companion quest. Is there anything I was going to do here? Let's try cooking. See if I have any food to cook. Yeah, you have my Looks permission, like Cornbread. To take a rest. Oh, yes, I can do a caravan lunch. Yes, please. You absolutely have my permission. Yeah, when when they when they ask, I'm gonna be jumping they the call you up and, hey, next. are you coming in time? You can say, no, Red said I could take the night off. And see, yeah, see how far that gets you. <laughs> I dare you to try it. Uh, let's see. Um... A few rats. I might. As, I got an infirmary here. Might as well use this while we're here. Get rid of a little bit of rats I got. Okay. And I'm not going to bother healing up because I'm going to actually take, get uh, get some sleep. Uh, let's see. Yes. Let's get some sleep. Let's do sixteen hours. Yeah, sixteen hours. We'll do that. Imagine if there's someone high up within his work called called Red. Yeah, Red said I could. And Red's phone rings. Did you say oh, Cornbread could take you. the night off? Of, like my Cornbread? Favorite. Who's Cornbread? I don't know any Cornbread. May what are you well talking about? That could be interesting. All right, let's... All right, so we've had enough water. We're fed. Dog meat looks like he's got a pee. Kate, you can put the gun away, Kate. You can put the gun away. Okay. Uh, 16 hours is also known as weeks weeks worth of sleep. Oh, boy. Yes, who, who is this cornbread of which you speak? And why would I give him the night off? We got everybody? There's doge meat. Come on, Kate. Dog meat's just taking his time. Where's Kate? Yeah, she'll fall. She just, she's chilling. She doesn't know enough to put her gun away. Come on, Kate. If you want to get cured, we gotta go. That's cornbread, best bread. Hey, at least it's not raining. And where's Kate? Kate apparently did not leave. Kate, why the hell did Kate not leave? 
Kate's still here. What are you doing, Kate? She, she apparently does not want to be cured. She's just kind of stuck there. What are you doing? Yeah? You wanted to ask something. Uh, why aren't know. you following me? It might look safe around here, but I'm keeping me gun handy. Well, you were, and you, you looked like you were stuck on the idol marker. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Yeah, she's doing the psycho behind my back again. Fine one, by me. What? One, one last shot for the road, huh, Kate? If you want to get cured, the door is this way. It's almost like she was stuck in an idol animation. I think I put a I think I put an idol marker right there. But her gun was out. It's like she was stuck in an animation. There she is. Alright. And it's still not raining. Hey Damien. Eating supper is important. You made you made the wiser choice. Mad Dog says, I worked till 10 p.m. Tuesday late today. Got to do a live stream for a major department event on Saturday. Well, that's... 300 people? Oh, boy. Have fun with that. That does suck you got to work on a Saturday, though. That clicking noise from your pit boy can't be good. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to bypass the... Uh, the hobbyist club. There's nothing in there. Nothing we need but rads. We don't need the rads. I've heard rad scorpion poison can heal some infections, but I can't get it to work for me. Which way do we want to go here? I think we can bypass some um, Somerville place for now. And just head straight uh, past the robotics pioneer park. Now, we'll, interesting to see if any of this is respond or not. Actually. Actually it's a lot. This is not showing clear. That's still showing clear. I don't know if this showed cleared before or not. And that's not showing. Well, we didn't clear this out yet. We have been to Vault 95. We went there a few streams ago to get the bobblehead. And just cleared out the upper level. So I don't know if that's going to respond or not. I don't know if that cell responds after you get the quest or not. If it resets everything. It very well might. I don't know. I don't think I've ever gone there before doing Kate's quest, to be honest. You could just wait to get her quest and then get the bobblehead, but... I couldn't wait. Yeah, I want to see if this Deathclaw respawn back here. Because that might be a thing. If it did. Uh, the robot's still... Oh, the robot's down. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We still we have a Deathclaw over here. We do have a death call. Yep. That was easy. Okay. Had a death claw. So that did respawn. I, I, I didn't really need the cigarette, but. Yeah, the, I. This doesn't look like it re- Well, I would have taken the bottle caps. I definitely would have taken the ammo. I definitely would have taken these. Hey, I'm not taking the- oh, I hate to leave that M72 behind, but... We're gonna leave it. Friggin' thing weighs, uh, 17 pounds. I have at least three or four of them. We don't need it. You know what, it's been a bit too. Let's make a save out here. Angry Deathclaw. Angry Deathclaw in the house. Big, uh, not Big John's, um, Scrap Palace. We cleared out Scrap Palace. M72 worth installing? I would say yes. I had fun with it. It's just modded up. It weighs a it weighs a ton. I think the one I had modded up, I used for a few streams, was 27 or 28 pounds. So it's not it's not a light weapon all modded up. I had fun using it though. I would consider using it again. 
I mean this playthrough to um, to go back and, and equip myself with it again because I had fun using it. Well, there it is. Vault 95. Let's head oh. inside and find the clean room. Oh, wait That's a minute, though. Oh, shit. Me, body. They respond. Shit. They did respond. Where's the other Assaultron, then? Down front? What? What? Nothing. Who? Nothing there now. Nothing there now. Alright, last chance. Last chance for Kems with Kate. Kems with Kate. That sounds like a public access TV show. Now it's time for Kems with Kate. Let's take some Psycho Jot. Yeah. Of course, I can't see shit in the fog. Or she went down. Where's the other Assaultron? Damn it. That can't be it. Whoa, so slow. So slow. All right. Um, maybe the other ones didn't respawn? I was expecting the other Assaultron to come barreling out. Chems with Kate, very NPR. And now it's time for Chems with Kate. Hmm. Today on NPR, it's Chems with Kate. Huh? Followed by... Oh, there it is. Chems with Kate, followed by Prairie Home Companion. Yeah, um, we cleared this out already. Ah, is that all you've got? <laughs> that took a little piece out whoa, of me. Whoa, whoa. Where you are you? That? Are you down below? Will one of those help? Whoops. You know how to show a girl I guess a it will. Time. Okay. Grenades with Gary would have been better. <laughs> Gary. Ha <laughs> Gary. Gary. Aw, Gary. Well, now, that makes me wonder if, uh... Well, this fog is really, uh... That's really weird. The fog's right on top of me. It makes me wonder if anything else in the, uh... Interior cell... ...has respawned. Oh, we need a little bit more to top off the health here. More rat chunks! That should do it. There we go. Now, now it's telling me I'm, I'm hungry now? I just ate. There we go. Yeah, this is interesting. Going down. And so the exterior had reset. I'm wondering if that does it with the quest. If getting the quest triggers it to reset. Be interesting to see what's down below here. I'm fully expecting uh, everything to be respawned. Oh, yeah. Yep. These reset. These definitely reset. We've been through here already. To this door. Yep. We'd already gone and unlocked this door, so... Yeah, that's what my thinking is, Joda. That, um... See, now you're just showing off. Once we got the quest, it reset that stuff. That is probably what happened. But we got another free technical document out of the deal. Some more cigarettes to sell. Let's see. Actually, let me reload here. Haha, -ha, Gary. Alright, the tin cans are, are gone. And it looks like turrets. Okay, so these guys didn't reset. That makes me happy. I don't know about anybody else. Because we only went down to that wing of it. 
over there, the residential block, to get the get the bobblehead. No, I don't know about anybody Damn. else. Did someone drive a bulldozer through here? Okay. Requires terminal. All right. Hmm. Likeness of one. We're crowded. Likeness of zero. There we go. Where did that come from? I didn't do that. In your game, they reset uh, can do. I don't think I've ever come in here before doing Kate's quest. I usually just wait, wait until that time happens. Oh, the pistol. I usually wait till I get her quest and then come down here and get the bobblehead. But since I only needed the two, I really didn't feel like waiting. So. can't shoot through that, can I? No, I can't. Hmm. Cave Cricket Gland. Why do you have a baby bottle? Gotta make you wonder. Gunner Conscript with a baby bottle. Gotta make you wonder. Let's go, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Say it. Oh. Shit. I hear another one, or is that, uh, there's another one in here. There might be another one. This looks pretty damn cool, though. These textures and uh, the lighting. It's pretty freaking awesome. I can't tell uh, where anybody is. Uh, you guys might want to keep it down, please. Please and thank you. Insta mash. This this is just static, right? This isn't an actual sink, of course not. What did you have? Baseball bat. Hey. Oh. You must be upstairs. Hey! Who's there? Nobody. Just like the super mutants. Expecting an answer. Mm, we don't need that. If it was a desk fan, I would have taken it. I hear that's right, there's turret. Turret upstairs. Take the medics for sure. Figures the place is full of gunners. Nice secure location. Oh man, this the, yeah, this vault like retexture is awesome. A vault perched up on an overpass. Hmm. I just wish it wasn't. Uh, it's only one k. I wish it was actually two k. But considering how dark it is, I can't really even tell the difference. To be perfectly honest, I mean I can. What? But it's uh, it's negligible the difference that it would be if it was 2k. I have actually tweaked them a little bit, too. I've, um, replaced the wall sections so that they don't show the goofy wood pattern when they pour the concrete, because I can't stand how that looks. I think it looks stupid. So I, uh, what the? I got rid of that. 
Something's ghosting us. I was just getting warmed up. Oh, there's another one in there. Where are you? Oh! Look at what you have. T-45 arm. Uh, it's got to be the uh, Mutant Slayer's effect. Hmm. Goopy textures are my favorite kind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys are talking about pizza? Yeah, I think I'm going to be ordering pizza tonight myself. I actually thought about that earlier. But, um... Here we are again. You guys are talking about the pizza. So I'm going to have to order one. But yeah, we're going to have to leave that. Another M72. Gotta be something of value oh, on shit. It. Is that... Yeah, there is another one in there. Okay. Oh, my, uh... My stream stalled. You guys been having... Uh, how's Twitch been for you guys tonight? Is the stream been stalling? You guys had to refresh much? Because I've had to... Um, I would say maybe half, at least half a dozen times tonight. Twitch performance is awful for you. Hmm. I've been having issues with it all week. I want that lever action rifle. Where'd that go? I just saw a lever action rifle here. Now it's missing. Oh, there it is. You know, I think I'm going to take that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I haven't really been looting a lot of guns tonight, so... We'll take... We'll give that one a home. Almost no stream stalls for you, Coconut says. And Cornbread's had it stall a few times on the mobile. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I have was having a lot of trouble with it earlier this week. And I've got this thing on my laptop, the one I monitor the stream on that keeps stalling... If I go to a stream, and you get the pre-roll, um, the ads when you first join the stream, the stream is supposed to automatically start after the ads end. It doesn't. For whatever reason on that laptop, it doesn't. I have to refresh the page. It's pretty stupid. Alright, Kate. Hold up. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I knew about the... I remember the one behind the door, but I forgot you about that really other one. really pissing me off! Oh, you just wait. You just wait. You haven't seen nothing yet. You think you're pissed now. Open the door. I'm actually going to take some... One, one, one for the road, Kate. One for the road. How about some jet for the road, Kate? Ooh, look at the big Gauss rifle on you. ODST5123, thanks for that follow. Appreciate that. That was for you, Kate. That was one last looting of a bottle cap mine and some jet for you. Jet has worn off. All right, um, let's speak to Kate. The answer to me problems is sitting in that room. But I don't know if I should go through with it. Hmm. Well, we came oh so far. Don't turn back now. I know you risked your life getting us down here. But what if this psycho's the only thing keeping me together? What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain. Things I didn't want to face. Things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. Hmm. You are a fighter, Kate. Don't give up. You can beat this. Damn it. You're right. Whatever happens, I can handle it on me own. <sighs> I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. Okay. Well, let's, her f let's let her find the chair. Oh, look at that Gausser. I may have to take that. I think I'm going to take that. We'll leave the other stuff. Uh, while Kate's finding her way in. I'm ready. Show me what you've got. Shaded Dreams. Thanks for that follow. All right, we're going to... Where did I loot that from? Hang on a minute. Where the hell did I get that, that pack rifle from? I don't remember looting that. Hmm. I'm going to give Heather this stuff. 
Why do I have a 600 carry weight? Oh, I know why. Kate's no longer considered a companion. That's why. I get the carry weight bonus from Lone Wanderer and the carry weight bonus because of the perk, the married perk I have with Heather because Kate is no longer a companion for this little bit. I have to actually remember to re-recruit her before we leave because otherwise she uh, just, just kind of takes off on her own. Shipment of silver, which I don't really need, but we'll take it anyway and leave all the other stuff. Hmm. Uh, Heather was actually had her equipped with the alien blaster before. And she operates the same way as settlers do. You give her one of whatever ammo uh, a gun requires, and she's set. It's basically infinite ammo. So I had her equipped with the alien blaster earlier. And I actually might give that back to her at some point. Um, and I also have a mod that does the same thing for all my, for all the vanilla companions. It, you, you basically, you give them, like, Kate has, um, one shotgun shell for her caravan shotgun, and she's good. Because I, I don't like micromanaging that shit. Uh, and actually, Heather Kazan has, um, you can get, um, oh, they're like affinity points. Actually, I think that's what they're called, affinity points. And every, there's certain levels of the affinity you can get with her, and she'll give you, um, give you a present, opens up new dialogue. You get affinity points by giving her the Alien Blaster and the Grognak Axe. Have I ever lose the Alien Assault Rifle mod? Um, no. No, I haven't. Initiate Toxin Purge. Let's do this. I actually meant to save here, too. But we'll do that when we get done. Actually, we'll save it now. That does not look pleasant. Hey, Crunch Troll. No. No settlementing. Dog meat looks like he's got to pee again. No runs today, but we came close early on. Dog meat is completely clueless to the pain that Kate is undergoing right now. Completely clueless. Now, we came very close to having a run, though, early in the stream, but nothing since. You right there, Kate? Strange. I feel really strange. Everything feels... different. Everything feels... clearer. Colors. Sounds. Smells. Nothing is like I remember. I... I can't believe it worked. The cravings. The pain. Hell, even the rush, they've disappeared. Was I really that far gone? The, the last half of Kate's animation was clueless to her pain, too? Yeah, pretty much. Um, you all right? I was worried about you. Seems you're not the only one. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old bastard kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. I guess he saw something in you that I missed. Hmm. Uh, Kate's outfit. Yes, that is Kate's outfit. Is the Merc, the Merc Troublemaker, Merc Cruiser. It's the Merc Cruiser outfit from the Capital Wasteland team's uh, Fallout Three Mercenary outfit pack. It's um it's a recreation of one of the outfits from Fallout Three. Uh, and and they were in New Vegas as well. Um, uh, never mind, Tommy. I did all the friggin' work. Don't worry. I'm not trying to take away your glory. Look, I'm never gonna forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're gonna get out of me. Now, how about we get out of here and leave this place far behind? Okay. Yay. Oh, we have to actually re-recruit her again before I forget. Yeah, I always forget that you have to re-recruit her. Ready to head back out? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, how you feeling? I'm feeling good enough to head out and crush some skulls. So, are you ready to hit the road? Absolutely, let's go. Good. Then let's get moving. Okay. Harkness was here 2020. Yeah, see, now I've got uh, back to 450. So, yeah, so I get a 50 plus carry weight bonus when I'm traveling with just Heather. Because dog meat doesn't count. Because I have a perk from Heather. Because we're maddied. And 
Be Exceptional gives me the Lone Wanderer buffs when I'm uh, either with a companion with max affinity or obviously if, you know, Lone Wanderer, if you're traveling without a companion other than dog meat, you get that. So that's why my carryout was temporarily up to uh, 600, but ooh, 412? Yeah, we're going to have to uh, lighten the load here. Uh, old school pet boy, yes. Yes, I have a lot of old school mods. That is the whole point of this playthrough. And there's really no light in here. But yep, it's the Fallout 3 uh, New Vegas, the Capital Wasteland team's uh, pit boy replacer. Yep. Uh, sexy and with a novel. A question that kind of relates to that. Uh, mod has options. Beam type weapon. The Archimedes weapon does... Beam is a projectile, so moving the weapon around too much misaligns the beam with the weapon. Um, yeah, I you're asking the wrong person for for tweaking gun mods. I don't. I've never touched gun mods other than the um, level list, so I cannot answer your question on that. I have no idea how to fix that. Mad Dog tinkers with the gun mods. Mad Dog might be, or somebody else in chat. Um. Yeah, I, I don't generally tinker with the gun mods. They, they're very low priority for me. Other than, like, changing the level list, I, I don't really make changes to them in that way. Uh, let's see. My favorite faction? Um, I have issues with all of them. In Fallout 4, but I would say probably... I want to say Brotherhood, but they're kind of asshats in this game. But I, I I, despise the Minutemen. I don't like the Institute. The Railroad is... Eh, they're okay. And that kind of leaves the Brotherhood. I, I I, guess I can't say that any of the fact... Actually, no, I have... I. Let me take that back. Let me take that back. My favorite faction in the game is the Atom Cats. There. There you go. Favorite faction is the Adam Cats. Adam Cats are have, in my mind, they're just much more, um, more uh, better. Yeah, I have issues with all the main factions in this game. I, I think the Brotherhood kind of suck. I generally like the Brotherhood in the older games. I can't stand the Minutemen. I can't stand the Institute. Railroad is, eh. Brotherhood is, um, you know, they're the Brotherhood. So it's Adam Cats. Definitely the Adam Cats. I wish there was more Adam Cats too. The first time I played the game. Uh, actually, let's drop a save here before we go. First time I played the game, I had ended up down in Quincy. And I was with Nick Valentine. I just brought Billy home for the first time because I didn't know Billy was a thing. Wandered into Quincy Ruins thinking that's where Billy wanted to go home. Got my ass handed to me by the gunners. Finally limped down to the Atom Cat. I had no idea what was down there. I just saw the, uh, the marker on the compass. It was like stumbling across an oasis after I'd just gone through hell getting through Quincy. Stumbling across the Adam, it was like that was my main base for the rest of the game. I stored my power armor there. I did all my crafting there. It was, it was awesome. It was great to have um, have them around. So, yep, uh, Adam Cats. Adam Cats are my favorite faction. Why bother so, with that? You open in a museum or something? In this game, overall, I would say um, the. Uh, Brotherhood under Elder Lions and Fallout 3 is probably my favorite. Adam Snake's rule and Funnel Cake's rule, too. The Funnel Cake's rule. The mod that gives you that pistol, the light. Um, not sure I know what you mean. I'm using a Pit Boy flashlight replacer. Other than that, I'm not sure what you mean. Dog faction is best faction. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought that water would help with damn dry throat. Uh, paper airplanes and all that. Yes. Yes. Don't write a story. Because your your uh, users will just rip out the pages and make paper airplanes out of them. Oh, the light shining. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. That is, um, that is the 45 auto pistol. I, I think it's one of the Deadpool mods. I, I don't remember. It's first time using this. It's basically the uh, the 45 auto pistol from New Vegas. And Light Shining in Darkness is a reference to Joshua Graham from the um, Honest Hearts DLC. That was a... Uh, it's it's a little um, 
a little nod to Joshua Graham from New Vegas. Ender with her. Thanks for that follow. I don't know that I've ever noticed a cigarette machine here. How about that? Alright, I think we're done. We are done. Wow, how am I going to say that? Would Jet... Would Jadazil. Would Jadazil, is that right? Am I saying that right? Going up. Thanks for that follow. Greetings from Poland. How are you? Hmm. Junkuje. That's thank you, right? Or is it Junkuje? Yeah, I I've traveled in Poland and I I've pretty much uh, forgotten all the Polish that I learned. It is. Oh, I actually remembered. Okay. Um, trying to find anything else I, rem I remembered. Uh, Jindobry. I remember, is it, I get Polish, my Polish can mixed up with the Czech. Jindobry? Is that it? Welcome. All right. I think what we can do is, uh, what time we got here? I'm going to have to wrap up here in a little bit, so. I think what we might do is, I don't think there's anything else we, I did everything I wanted to do. We did, um, uh, the Faneuil Hall quest, uh, the Grasshopper quest, we did Diamond City Blues, and we got Kate. We got Kate cured, so now I can't take chems anymore, which makes me sad. Uh, so our affinity is now 90%. Oh, so I actually wouldn't, um... No, I have not completed the main quest yet. Nope. We are, by now, at the at the beginning of the stream, I think we're like 196 hours, so we're definitely pushing two, over 200 hours now in the character, have not completed the main quest. I am waiting to do Nuka World, which I think we'll be doing sooner rather than later, and then we'll be finishing up the main quest. I'm not going to do Disappearing Act, because I don't like it that Dr. Sun goes down in the basement, and if you want to do any business with him, you got to go down there, so I'm not going to do that. I, I think that's stupid that he goes and hides down there. Uh, you know what? Let's actually... Do I have enough technical documents to justify a trip to the Pridwin? Because that maybe we could do that. Let me see what we got here for. Technical documents and blood samples. What do we have? Technical documents are only five viable blood samples. What do we got? Where are those? Six. Eh, that's not that many. Hmm. Yes, I can't take chems until I get dismissed. Yes, that is correct. We are, I think, level 55. Level 55. Yep. Let's go to the Pridwin. We'll burn a little time there. And then we'll head back to uh, the hideout. And I'll probably have to wrap things up there. Yeah, as soon as we uh, max out affinity with Kate, we're probably going to be uh, sending her back to home plate. So I can start doing chems again. All right, let's actually make a save here first. Uh, let's see. I actually kind of think maybe I should have done Nuka World first and then Far Harbor. But I was really in the mood to do Far Harbor. I really wanted to play it. I have a character, um, my Let's Play series on YouTube that is currently in Nuka World. And I kind of didn't want to have two characters and two playthroughs and two series doing the same thing, but uh, it just kind of happens, so. so. I think once we get uh, Kate decked out with the affinity, we'll probably be heading to Nuka World. Always in the mood for Far Harbor. Yeah, I, um, I love Far Harbor. I wish more of the base game was like Far Harbor. Wait for our wait for our Uber. Did this uh I wonder if this raider respawned over here? While we're waiting. Where's our uh vertebra gonna land? Let's see if that raider respawned over there. You're just gonna land there? Okay. <laughs> I wish the base game was more like Fallout. Mad dogs. Oh yeah, you did. I'm gonna rip your lips off. Oh. Heather finished them off. 
think you had disciples gear on. Just speaking of Far Harbor. Yeah, you had a disciples cowl. And operators she couldn't make up her mind which uh which faction she wanted to join. Disciples cowl and an operator's leg. How about that? Uh, Damien's got a good point. Don't complain about 70, uh, Fallout 4 when 76 exists. Oh, no. Alright, let's go to the Pridlin. Let's turn this stuff in. I'd, I'd normally wait until I have, like, a dozen of, uh, the blood samples and the technical documents, but you know what? Welcome aboard, Knight. Let's Stand kill some time. Oh, uh, that statue, it's just a, it's, um... All weapon systems are go. That's good just, shooting, it's Knight. like a ruined statue in that... That um, Raider has been painting it. So if you go to the other side of it, it's basically covered in all different color paint, like pink and purple paint. And inside, and I never noticed it until literally like three or four playthroughs ago when I was testing one of my mods, my Somerville Place trailer mod. I never noticed that that statue actually has a first aid kit in it, has a chem box. I never noticed it. But yeah, the raider is there, uh, basically painting the statue. Bush did 9-11. Bush did 9-11, thanks for that follow. Nobody, nobody, nobody. I'm thanking nobody for that follow. Thanks, nobody. Nobody just gave me a follow. All right, Damien, hey, thanks for coming and hanging out with us. You take care. Hope to see you again soon. You have a good one. Yeah, we'll be. We're gonna be wrapping up here soon anyway, so. Take care, man. Have a good night. Or evening. Or afternoon. Time appropriate. Time appropriate farewells. Hey, at least it's not raining. Kate hasn't been to the Pridwin yet, either. We'll give Kate a little look there at the Pridwin. Touchdown could be a little rough. All this walking's burned. What? What are you talking about walking, Kate? We just... We, we, we just flew on a vertebrate, Kate. What, what, what's this walking you're talking about? Heard you gave those beauties at Fort Strong. What is this walking of which you speak? Okay, I'm going to make a save here. Let's head down. Whoops. Not that way. Wrong checkpoint. Walking. <laughs> Can you eat it? Walking. Attention. This is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately to Proctor uh, Quinlan for evaluation. Right. You have technical documents, perhaps. Anyone found in or possession of undocumented technologies will control? be subject to inquiry and punishment. A walking it reminds me of that bit from uh, Old World Blues. I believe the phrase is thank you. Yes, thank you. Walking. Uh, I've got some technical documents for you. These look rather promising. You certainly have a knack for this sort of work. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, 
The Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Proctor Quinlan. We haven't been back there in a like while. like this rust bucket. Oh, sure, the Pridlins are fine ship. Charging into a situation, guns blazing. I haven't been... I don't think I've really been back here since You're I snuck in and stole the XO-1 helmet. I'll help you end it. Mm, let's take a look at what you have. All of my weapons are mission ready. Alright. I wouldn't expect anything less. Alright, I'm gonna sell the fusion core. Those. Just because I have so much shit back at the house. I'm probably never gonna use anything that's 50 cal. And I know I have a bunch of those too, so... Not that I need the caps. 26,000 caps that go jingle, jangle, jingle. I think we're pretty good. But let's see what else we have here. Nope, I think that's it. Does he have anything I might want? Probably not. I don't need any more guns. I don't... Definitely don't need any more power armor. We're not really using the power... You know what? I might buy some ballistic fiber... Some fiber optics and the screws. Let's let's spend some of those harder. Actually, you know what? Let's buy all. Let's buy all the things. Forty-one hundred caps. Let's buy all the things. Oh, I definitely have enough caps. Yes. Now we. That's that's why we don't need to loot all the things. But I keep continuing to loot all the things. Twenty-six thousand caps. They go. We have a lot of ground to cover. Oh, oh, yeah, we got the gun from Paladin Brandis. Uh, dance. Carry on. I'm gonna make a save before we go through here. Alright. Uh, no, Scribe Naraya. We gotta go see Scribe Naraya, and then we're done here on the Prid... the Pridwen. Yeah, I... I don't know how... I, I would say for the past five or six streams, I've, I've started... I don't need to loot all the things. Have you I... collected any blood samples? No. But I keep looting all the things. Uh, yes, here you go. I never thought I'd be so happy to see tiny vials of blood. Thank you. Here's some caps for the trouble. Remember, keep bringing me samples, and I'll keep making you the compound. Yeah, Brandis cleans up real good when you get him back here. Um... Have you collected any blood samples, Knight? No, do you have any more, uh, X-11 compound? X-111 compound? Not yet. I still need a few more blood samples before I can create another batch. Okay. Remember, keep bringing me samples, and I'll keep making you the compound. Alright, well, I actually think I have... How many of those do I have? I, I even forget that I even have these. I got seven? I have seven of those. Okay. Alrighty, then. Doesn't it feel good to be a part of something as important as the Brotherhood? Well, where are we? The airport. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a vertebrate home. Because I'm going to have to wrap up if I'm going to order pizza and do the other stuff I got to do tonight. So I think we'll take a vertebrate back home and uh, we'll end things there. Yeah, I'm looking at the clock. I, I, I really don't want to stop. I want to keep playing. I'm having a lot of fun, but you know, life beckons. So. We'll catch a ride. We'll catch an Uber back to the house. And then we'll uh, wrap things up there. So I can go order some pizza. And do the other stuff I gotta do tonight. Uh, no, I will probably be streaming tomorrow, can do. Probably around the same time. I'm gonna, gonna probably start early again tomorrow. Like I did tonight. But yes, it's Grease Wheel Night. Yes, Vic has it. It is Grease Wheel Night. Absolutely. friggin lootly Yeah, since I didn't get a Fallout 3 stream in this week, I'm partially tempted to, to uh, play some Fallout 3 tomorrow, but I think we're just going to continue with this. Get ready to go to the Nuka Worlds. We got everybody? Here comes Heather. Uh, Coconut says, like early streams, I can follow them to the end. Did you hear I... That? I'm very um, out of sorts streaming as early as I did. It felt really weird starting that early. But um, I have some stuff I, I got to do tonight, and I figured I'd stream early, free up my evening to do that stuff, and that way I can get a 
I'm not up till two o'clock in the morning. So I'll probably do the same thing. I'll probably start around the same time tomorrow. But I feel like I have a bit of my evening left to do uh, all the other stuff I gotta do. And people in other time zones uh, have a better chance of catching you know, and joining things live because I time zones suck. Time zones suck for a lot of people. And a lot of folks. Oh, no, actually I gotta go to the entrance. I can't I can't go to the interior. Oh, right. this is go uh, a lot off. of folks in the other parts of the planet just they stay up go really on, late to watch and, and I appreciate that. Good hunt. As time zones do suck. Yes, they do. Uh, Coconut says, I'm always up to 2 a.m. It's the norm for me. 3, 4 in the morning used to be the norm for me until I started getting old. And now I, I find it a struggle to stay up past midnight. Like, I didn't have to get up this morning. And I planned on staying up late last night and working on some projects. Nope. I didn't make it till, till mid... I was in bed by 11 last night. I was just so freaking tired. I can't run with the big dogs anymore. Yeah, a lot of fog up here again. Oh, you have a bad sleep schedule, Coconut? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that could present a problem. Uh, Fan Diamond says, when the power went out last Sunday, I went to bed at 9, haven't went to sleep that early in years. Well, that's an incentive to get some sleep. That, that sucks. There's not much else you can do. Read by candlelight, I suppose. Oh, there goes the fallen car. But yeah, I, I find when I, I stream at my normal time, if I... If I stream to, like, say I stream, to, you know, six hours or longer, like, if I quit at midnight or, or later, I have a hell of a time getting to sleep that night. I'm just kind of wound up, trying to relax, and I can't. When I finally do get to sleep, I'm up at, uh, you know, time I would normally get up during the week to go to work. Bing, wide awake. And it just makes the day uh, kind of long, not getting, not getting the rest. So that's why I'm going to try streaming early again tomorrow and see how that works out for me. Hey, we're almost home. How about that? Nobody's tried to shoot at us yet. Uh, Delicious Cornbread says, when I was in nursing school many moons ago, the power went out spot. for finals when we were studied by candlelight for eight hours. Oh, boy. What I wouldn't give for a good staff drink. And speaking of reading by candlelight, you got everybody? Yeah, Heather's actually been jumping off on their own. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to knock on wood when I say that um, I've been very fortunate where I live. I don't know if it's something with how the power grid is set up where, where, my, uh, where my flat is, but we've had several large storms come through the area the past few years, and I've never lost power. I've had it flicker. We've had, you know, we'll get kind of like a brownout situation where it will dim for a couple minutes, but then it always bounces back. Where people I work with, the last storm we had roll through, someone I worked with, she was out power, her and her family, for like two days. It's terrible. Um, so I'm I'm considered very I'm myself very lucky with the power situation. Where's Kate? There she is. I'll make sure we got everybody. Um. So yeah, we're right back. Well, pretty much right back where we started. Uh, Digital Partners says live close enough to downtown Seattle such that the power just doesn't go out since the city has electric co-op. Oh, that's that's handy. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually near a substation. 
There's a substation literally right around the corner for me, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But we've had some really bad storms come through here. The lights flicker and everything, but never goes out. Of course, I say that now that I've said that, I've jinxed myself. Totally jinxed myself. Unico. Unico. Unicorn. Wow. I'm actually getting better with some of the Twitch names. Unicorn. Thanks for that follow. Um, so right back where we started off, and I think that's where we're going to wrap things up tonight. Yeah. I don't want to... I, I kind of want to keep going, but I am getting hungry and getting a little tired, so... It's probably time to say goodnight. And uh, we'll pick up here t tomorrow. So we did everything I wanted to do. And I think tomorrow we will try and max out our affinity with Kate. Where are we at uh, with the affinity here with her? Let's, where is she? Let's talk to Kate real quick. What you need? Uh, Kate, you, you, you just kind of you teleported. You know where you're headed, and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. 91%. So I'm going to figure out how we're going to do that. I may just go to Nuke World tomorrow with her and max it out there. We'll see what happens. Um, that's it. Sure. So, yes. Um... Let me actually make a save here. Let's uh, switch gears here. We did everything I wanted to do tonight. Which makes me happy. Just give me one second to quit out of the game. So, yeah. Everything I wanted to do tonight we did. Which is awesome. And, uh, yeah. I will be back tomorrow. There's a very good chance we'll go to Nuke World tomorrow. I, I think I'm kind of ready. It's probably about time. We can, we can max out uh, the affinity with Kate there. So... We'll see what happens. But I will be back tomorrow. Probably playing more of this. Slight chance I might go for Fallout 3. But I think we're just going to continue with Fallout 4 tomorrow. And maybe I'll... Um, I can stream Fallout 3 during the week. Because that's right. We have a holiday here in the U.S. Next Thursday. Which means I'm off on Thursday. For Thanksgiving. So I will probably plan on streaming Fallout 3 next week. Fallout 4 tomorrow everybody. Fallout 4 tomorrow. Uh, we'll continue this playthrough. Because uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'd like to uh, like to get to Nuka World. It's probably time we do that. So, I'm not sure what time it's. Uh, I'll be starting tomorrow. It's probably going to be around the same time. Uh, probably around 2 p.m. Eastern. Maybe a little earlier. Maybe a little later. SMD DMS. Thanks for that follow. I am going to drop a couple links in the chat. Uh, that is the YouTube channel. And that is the Twitter's. Those are two places I will post when I'm going live, when I know for sure. But it's probably going to be around the same time. I'm going to say 2 p.m. Eastern, because that worked out pretty well. It seemed to work out for folks in different time zones, which which makes me happy. But yeah, until tomorrow night, you guys have a great night. I'm going to go order pizza. Pizza sounds pretty damn good right about now. And then I've got some other stuff to take care of. So pizza will go be a great way to kind of wind down for the night. You guys have a great night. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'm not going to say stay sane because that's that's a foregone conclusion. But thank you everyone for coming and hanging out. I, we did a lot of stuff tonight. We had a lot of people show up. that uh, A lot of new follows. Uh, new subs, resubs. Thank you Uncle Lander for that raid. That was greatly appreciated. Uh, great to see everyone coming and hanging out. So you guys have a great night. And uh, hopefully we'll see you all back here tomorrow. Thanks a lot everybody. Take care.